Morning, everybody. Well, I'm confused. And boy, do I look like a complete tit. Because <laughs> this isn't supposed to be working. This isn't supposed to be working. And I thought I'd try it. I'd just finished editing a video uh, for later on today. And I thought, you know what? I'll give it a go, as we do. And it kicked in. It kicked in. So I don't know what is going on at all. But thank you very much for joining me, everybody. Um, I feel awful now because I've told so many people and I've put it on... I've put it on um, the community page and everything. And it's all over the Discord, so it's not as if I was telling lies or fibs or... I don't know. But anyway. The game detected downloadable content changes. Uh, so there we go. We know all about that. So shall we get stuck in, everybody? Uh, do a new career and uh, enter my name and all that gubbins. Uh, right then, so profile name. So let's uh, press it enter. There we go. So we'll, uh, we'll call myself Lee, not CGD. And not many taxi drivers are called CGD, are they? Uh, so, model, uh, let's have a look. Uh, that geezer looks more like me, I think. I, I haven't got a clue, Dougie. I haven't got a clue what is going on, mate. I really don't have a clue. Uh, so, company name. Um, here we go. We'll call it CGD Cabs, I reckon. There we go. Well, that's that done. How you doing, water? <laughs> I've got to delete my channel out of water. <laughs> Honestly, mate, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, mate. I can only go off what I read. I only report the news, mate. Right, so there's lots of logos to choose from. Lots of logos. I don't want to spend too long. Um, oh, I like that one because it's got paws, a paw print in the middle. And with me being a dog walker, I'm going to have to go for that one, aren't I? Uh, company colours, I'm going to go for yellow and black. So, next stage. I'm waiting for them to make an announcement. I suspect they've managed to get it sorted. I haven't got a clue, mate. We'll Welcome soon find out. I'll play Barcelona, this anyway. Where history meets modernity in a symphony of architectural wonders. From the bustling narrow streets of the Gothic Quarter to the breathtaking landmarks the city has to offer, your journey as a taxi driver begins. Feel the sea breeze on your face as you cruise along. Let me know you can hear it, okay, guys, if the volume's and okay and all that. An unforgettable adventure. Embrace the spirit of Barcelona and become the most sought after taxi driver in town. But first, let's get you a taxi driver's license. Righty ho. We're going to get a taxi hey driver Welcome license, everybody. School. Uh, before you hit the bustling streets of Barcelona to ferry people around, it's a bit low. We got to teach you how to drive first. So let's get started. You have the option to skip this and head straight to the city by selecting the appropriate option from the pause menu. But hey, just a heads up learning the rules now could come in handy later on down the road. Your call. Cheers, geezer. This is the cabin hey, of your car. Tin -tin. You can look around and use the buttons that are highlighted. You can open, close windows, and use the radio or AC. In the future, you'll be able to interact with the cabin to your heart's content. Right now, turn okay. on the engine by pressing and holding the start button. Right, so we press LB and up. Very good. The engine is turned on, and you see that the We're dashboard panel is now working. There is lots of interesting information. For example, your speed and fuel level. Red and orange icons inform you that something wrong is happening with your car. However, your car is new and ready to go. So for now, you won't have to worry about that. Release the handbrake by pressing the handbrake button. Okie dokie, so we press B for handbrake. Very good. Now you can drive. Increase the speed by pressing the acceleration button and drive to the marker in front of you. You can break by pressing great job. Hey, great Just job for me already, eh? will require you to make numerous precise maneuvers. Your level of control over the car will depend on the type of control device you're using. It won't be a steering the wheel. The control system has been designed to enable you to navigate through narrow streets. Look at how much you can turn the steering wheel. It's worth noting that the steering wheel and the car's wheels turn slowly at the start and then pick up speed as they approach their left or right limit. If you're ready, 
park the car in the marked space in front of you. Of course, you can change the view by pressing the view button. So we've got different views. So if we press up, we've got a uh, bonnet cam, bumper cam, GTA cam, and uh, cab cam. Right, so where have we got to go? Over there. We try to do this in... So if we have a look like that, there we go. So we can have a drive around. Like so. There we go. Oh. There we go. Excellent work. You've got the hang of I am Samson, yes, mate. Just a friendly reminder. When driving in the city, it's important to use your turn signal uh, to let other drivers don't. know your intentions. You put the turn Test. signals on Press the D pad. The blinker buttons. Impressive. You can also use but quick look features on. to make sure that a maneuver you want to make is safe. Test it. Press the quick look buttons. Excellent. Wow. Well, oh, that you is quite slow doing it manually. And lean forward for a better view. Test it. You lean forward. Press the look back and lean well, that's buttons. That's a bit glitchy, isn't it? Additionally, in the cabin, we can you look can back. use some buttons, but all functions available here are also available directly from your steering device or from the radial menu. Press the radial button to open the... Now you can navigate through it with the tab change buttons. To choose each right. option, press the action button. To exit the radial menu, press the exit button. Now you can navigate Remember, through it with LPRB. Ah, when the right, look, there's all different... So we've got windows, additional car systems, we've got the radio, um, air conditioning, lights, and windows. Gotcha. Press, uh, you can navigate through to each option. Uh, click your right stick to exit the radio menu. Press B to remember. So what, how do I? All right, so you click your right stick. For bloody hell, that. Awesome. Right, gotcha. Uh, don't forget to keep an eye on the fuel level and remember that the car is susceptible to damage. If any of the five icons that are linked to the car's endurance start to light up, y'all need to repair the car. These parameters are also shown on the HUD as bars. However, there is also one more bar. One parameter, cleanliness. It has an influence on the passenger's behavior and Well, we won't bother with that tips. then. What will we, mate? Okay. You know the basics. Now you can try the car. If you feel ready for the exam, please park in the marked space. All right, so it looks like we're heading down here. So it's got some bloody acceleration, this. All right, here we go. We're going to take our exam, our taxi exam, everybody. Let's see how we get on. Drive along the curved line and park in the marked space. Drive slowly and control your position. Try to be in the middle of the line. Don't cross it. Right, here we go. We're going for the full immersion cab view for the time being. There we go. We didn't do too badly there, did we? Have a passed. Very good. Park in the marked space to start the next stage. All right, we'll head over here. There we go. Let's practice parallel parking. Oh Christ! You need to I'm stop no good the at this in real life. Point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Once you reach the marked space, turn the wheels to the maximum right position and move forward right, slowly. Here we go then. We'll try a bit of parallel if parking. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly move the car backward and reposition the car to the left or right as needed. Does it want me to do it from this position or from like a, a normal, like from here? Right, we'll try it from here anyway. Here we go. Oh yes, eh? Park in the marked space to Parking start the next king. stage. You can tell I've done that before, can't you? Right, here we go. The e swap controller is uh, feels really nice on this as well. It's um, let's practice it's doing a real good job. Parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Here are the steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move backward slowly. Once the car is nearly in a parallel position, All right, so we've got to, to do it like this, space, have we? 
straighten the wheels and continue moving the car backward. Oh, I screwed that up. Ensure that you remain within the marked space. If you need to make any adjustments, slowly drive forward. Oh, crap. Oh, no. You the line. <laughs> Press the wrong button. <laughs> right, let's try Press that again. Oh, Christ. Reverse parking. You need to stop the car in the designated point. Let's just try Here reverse parking, shall we? Turn the there wheels we go. to the maximum. There we go. Very nice. Park in the marked space. Heading ghost, good to see you, mate. Stage. Right, where does it want me now? All the way over there. Right, then. Let's crack on over there. It's look, it looks nice, doesn't it? We've had no uh, frame rate drops at the moment. I saw some footage on the Discord earlier on of someone playing it. And the frame rate was free. We had the uh, freeze rate, frame frame rate issues. Tell who's only been wait awake an hour, can't you? There we go. Let's practice making a U-turn in three moves. Oh God, a U-turn! Follow these steps. Turn the wheels to the maximum left position and move forward slowly. Remember to stop. Oh, let's see if we can do this from the cab because this is where we're going to be doing it mostly. I do, Donald. Doctor. Turn the wheels doctor? to the maximum right position. And move back of fault. <laughs> Again, stop the car before like it Like I said, uh, Mr. Space. Watt, I can only give you Once more, the information the that I read on the Discord. And it was actually it was the developers slowly. who were saying it. It was the guy, the Mike, of the car who put it out there originally. And exit the marked space. But I, I was only passing Finally, on the information I was given. The car within the next marked space. It was all going crazy in that Discord yesterday. Right then. So we're going to do a three-point turn. Like so. So fit. we don't have to... We can't hit the cones, otherwise we'll fail. But how do I... Can I remember? Is it LB? There we go. Oh, no. Oh, Christ. That was a bit quick. There we go. I did it, surely. There we Very go. Good. Hey, you get me. The first part of the exam. I bet the main city area will be good you test for frame. Yeah, definitely, Ghost. Definitely. Barcelona. Before you hit the city streets... It's important to remember that you must abide by all traffic rules and regulations. By driving in oh, a calm yes, don't manner, worry, I using turn signals and following traffic signs, you'll be rewarded with XP points. A lot of messages However, have been deleted. If you break any traffic well, rules and I think someone said earlier on in the patrol, chat, you'll receive um, a ticket. It's a good chance that it's been Please sorted for the 9 o'clock release for consoles. Speed limit in the and city it's just still the Steam kilometers an hour. version that has to wait. Good luck. So it looks like we're getting into business, everybody. Jason Harvey, good to see you. We've literally just done uh, the this tutorial, is the Jason. Final part of your exam. Oh, here we go. Final You'll need part, to drive Jason. Your own car in a real city to complete the test. Good luck. All right, here to we go. So we've got the sat nav and everything now. Exam, look. You must pick up a client and safely deliver them to their intended destination. NPCs moonwalking over Are you there. Ready look. to begin? Let's go. Right then. Open the map by pressing the map button. Okie dokie. Uh, from what I've just seen as well, we can look at the sat nav as well. This is where you can find and open available the map. jobs. Using the steering buttons, choose the icon of the green figure to select the available job. Right, so this is where my controller is a bit of a nuisance because I've got to swap the, the wheel out. Right, so we've got Great that dude job. there. In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the job details, including the amount of money you'll receive and the XP reward. Read it and press the accept button. Oh, I know, Tintin. It was crazy, wasn't it? It was absolute madness yesterday. Right, so I completely missed all of that. So great job. In the pop-up window which appeared, you can see the job details, including the amount of money you receive and XP reward. Read it and press A. Excellent. Now we've accepted the You've job. You've taken your first job. Keep an eye on the orange bar located above the pop-up information window. Okie dokie. This is the patience bar, and All it right. will gradually decrease over time. The speed at which it decreases will depend on your passenger's temperament and, most importantly, your driving style. Well, my bar Avoid would uh, decrease very quickly then. As this may scare the client. Remember, the client won't wait forever. And well, the way you're witching on, fella, mate, that orange bar is going to empty quite quickly, isn't it? Available. It will only be revealed once the client you is in the car. You physical, uh, Philip, have you, mate? Okay, now you must drive to pick up the client. Exit the map by pressing the exit button. Right, so we press Follow B. the GPS route you can see on the mini-map to the marked Righty point. Righty-ho, so let's... Uh, park in the marked space. 
Have I got a handbrake? I can't remember what a handbrake is now. Ah, so we've got to start the engine up by pressing LB and up. There we go. Oh, I best indicate out, Anna. There we go. Alright, we're off, ladies and gentlemen, to pick up our first client. We are driving in Barcelona. Check us out. I'm taking it nice and steady. I don't want to screw up. Getting used to these uh, controls. Hey, it looks alright, doesn't it, Water? For now. So we've not even left the taxi rank yet. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. So we're going to go round this roundabout now. Let's check left for the traffic. Nothing seems to be coming. Here we go. We're heading into our first roundabout. Oh, a little bit of traffic here in front of us. Oh, I mean, I'm What's that? Oh, it's the gears. I wonder what that thudding noise was, and it's the gears, isn't it? He's putting it into park and drive automatically. That's what's happening there. I'm confused as well, Man City fan. Probably just cut up some traffic there. We're all just as confused. There's 66 people in here at the moment, and I think we're all as confused as one another. Check me mirrors. How fast are we going? 19. He's <laughs> well slow, he's taxi driver. I'm just trying not to bang the car up on my first job. There we go. Diversion is in seven hours. Jack Death, how you doing, fella? Good to see you. Oh, right. I can't remember what handbrake was again, because I was rolling back then. Has anybody else managed to get it going yet? Patience meter is still full, so we're all right. Let's indicate. Has the PlayStation version kicked in? Can anybody tell me? Here we go. So this is our first client, everybody. Uh, she is waiting. Here we go. So she gets in. Like so. Hey, I love you. All right. Hey there. How do? Now you know where to go. Look, I'm moving. Drive What's my handbrake? I can't remember. And remember to control the patient. That be. Occasionally, your game has started. What a awesome. conversation. And depending on the circumstances, you may choose to engage or disregard them. Keep in mind that participating in the conversation could potentially boost your tips, XP points, there we and go. even Doug improve your just, current uh, patience level. Relayed a message from the Discord. Uh, the console released first, and then later today at 6pm, uh, it released on Steam from Mike in their Discord. It's stuttering on PlayStation 5. Uh, from the looks of it, Charles, yes, buddy, we're still launching from the, from the looks of it, pal. Right, we're off with our first client. See where she wants to go. It's not too far away, so... Hopefully she doesn't start talking to me, because I'll panic. I'm still trying to learn all my controls. I had to switch it off. Go, Got to go out soon, but really wanted to start playing. Oh, bless you, water. Right, we're going to cut across a couple of lanes of traffic here. There we go. But yeah, it feels really nice on the controller. I've not had any stuttering yet on the Xbox. Let's uh, jump to the outside view. And we'll try that for a little bit, see if that affects the frame rate in any way. Going straight ahead. Traffic seems to be uh, moving quite smoothly as well, doesn't it? The AI looks uh, quite good at the moment. They're quite impressed. I tell you what, it feels like it's not going to break, then all of a sudden it breaks. Just stops. Oh, we're taking a left here. There we go. What's this dude doing? I hope we got a guy going across as the uh, crossing there. Go on, fella, off you go. Take your time. Bopping your horn is uh, clicking the uh, left stick. Here we go. This is us. There you go, my love. It was such a pleasure riding with you. I bet it was, Very love. good. Right. Oh, we got an achievo as well. The get us look. Congratulations. As you can see, We've you earned some cash. your first money and Bloody XP hell. points. The money was that 100 euros? We only went round the corner. 
or even buy a Talk new Talk about inflation. You can use XP points to develop your character. Now let's spend some I don't money. know, Charles. I see the Because I pre ordered. Go there and refuel the car. Um it just started up, mate. It just started up. Oh, another achievement. Professional driver's license, complete the driving school tutorial. Right, so looks like we're we're good to go now. If you want to adjust sensitivity of the controls, check the game sense, uh, game settings section in the pause menu. For me, it's all right for now. Uh, this marks conclusion of the tutorial's core section. Taxi Life offers a vast and diverse world for your, for your exploration. While the game provides guidance and tips, don't hesitate to venture out on your own. Utilize the map, test your car's functions, and engage in experimentation. Enjoy the game. Right then, so we've got a fuel station here. How are we... I'm trying to set off with my handbrake on. So this is the petrol station. Here we go. So we'll we'll try fueling up and see how that goes. Let's back up. There we go. Handbrake on. Press A to enter the gas station. Try restarting console. Why do I, why do I need to restart my console, Dougie? <laughs> Jumping straight on this when I get home from work. Nice one there. Uh, Tinted, are the achievements trophies pretty straightforward, mate? Uh, shall we have a quick look? Um, achievements. Uh, we've got new ride, purchase a new car, first upgrade, buy and equip a new car part. So that's quite straightforward. Hire an employee, hire five employees, refuel your car at the gas station, which we're about to do. Wash your car at every car wash in the city. That's a pretty cool one. Eco-friendly, recharge your car at every charging station. Cover 100 kilometers in a single career. Cover 200 kilometers. Cover 500 kilometers. Successfully complete at least 10 rides. Successfully complete at least 50 rides. 150 rides. Reach level 10. Reach level 20. Reach level 30. Cover, cover 10 kilometers in a single career. Cover 50 kilometers in a single career. Cover 300 kilometers in a single career. 400. Uh, successfully complete at least 25 rides. Successfully complete at least 75. 100. Reach level 5, 15, 25. Find all Morial collectibles and find all Monument collectibles. Morning, Kim City. The sensitivity seems way better than it was earlier on. Was it a setting? No, I've not touched it, but I'm using the eSwap controller, which has like a mini wheel on it. Uh, you have two options for refueling, partial and to the max. Uh, choose one of them and exit the gas station panel. Right then. Um, so it says, right, so... Fill it up or refuel. So let's fill it up. There we go. Very good. You can use the character. You could use the charger for electric cars and car washes in a similar way. Uh, now it's time to visit the garage. Let's find the garage on the map and go there. Uh, so press A to enter. No, we need that. To start driving. We need to turn the car back on, which is L being up. Oh, not you. I mean Charles. <laughs> right, sorry. <laughs> Is there a PlayStation alternative to the eSwap controller? As far as a no, no. I don't, I'm afraid. Have I got my handbrake on or something? Yeah, I have. Bloody hell. Now let's just pull in here, because it wants us to go to the garage next. So let's put the handbrake on. Uh, we'll bring the map up. There are numerous icons displayed here that you can browse through by utilising the D-pad. You can sort them according to your preferences. Among the options available, there are many tasks and interesting places to visit. Lots of them give you experience points, and some of them give you money. Uh, you can select any point, and GPS creates a route to it. You can also change the tab to move to other sections. You can find more information about the game in the Help tab. Now find the garage icon, select it, and press A. So we've got a couple that I can see. There's one here, but well, they're all over the place. Uh, but there, there's one. So let's press A. So that's set a GPS route. So let's come out of that now. Like so. Can you change your seating position in the cockpit view? Is there... A, 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 let's have a look, actually, at uh, the options while we're here. Sorry, guys. This is, we'll do this at the beginning now. Uh, game settings. So we've got gearbox mode, which will leave that difficulty level normal. So we've got our sensitivity settings as well. Um, game, so that's just gameplay, game settings, system settings, video, we've got gamma, that's it, um, we've got audio settings, language settings, and controls, that's it, 
that's it. Uh, Super Blank's playing it now on uh, the uh, Series X as well. Same here, buddy. Rubber must be cheap. I hope so. <laughs> Is there a PlayStation alternative? Read that. Right then, so let's head uh, to the garage. I've left the handbrake on again. As you can see down there on the bottom right, we can see all our our functions. So let's have a quick look. Anything coming? No. Right, here we go. Right, so straight through these lights. We'll head back in the cab. Nice and quiet in here. Right, so we're headed to the garage. A nice drive through Barcelona. I think Mr. Water was playing it on PlayStation 5 earlier, buddy. Oh, bit of a stutter there. A little... Oh, crikey. Are we playing when my controller charges up? Multiple pass... Yeah, you can pick up... Uh, I saw on the development stream uh, that was on Steam a few days ago, he had uh, three people in the in the car with him. But I'm not sure about, like, you know, like a multi-drop kind of thing. If you can, like, pick one passenger up and then pick another one up while you're on a job. I don't think you can do that. Morning, Kevin. Morning, Bonfire. All right, so we'll uh, we'll keep going. Liam, when does it come on Xbox? It's not letting me play. I, this is on Xbox now, uh, Liam, so I don't understand why it's not letting you play, buddy. Like I said, I haven't got to... I'm, honestly, it feels like you're not going to break in time, then all of a sudden it just stops. Let's have a look at... Oh, actually, I was going to look at the radio then, but it looks like we're off again. We've got a passenger here on the on the left-hand side that we could pick up, but we're, we've been told to go to the garage, so we'll go to the garage first. 91 Inley. I know it's crackers, isn't it? Absolutely crackers. Right, let's go left. There we go. Nicely done. We're going to go straight on. Have we got a, yeah, we've got some lights there, but they've literally just changed as we pass through. And the garage is here on the right. Here we go. We'll ramp up there. Press A to enter the garage. I'm pressing A to enter the garage and nothing's happening. Let's just straighten up a bit. There we go. Oh, no, that's backwards. I keep pressing. Uh, handbrake on. Nothing's happening. That's weird. Take the handbrake off again. And we'll uh, try and just get into this green section a bit better. There we go. I needed to be right in there. Balls, just seen your stream and I have to go into a meeting. Ah, unlucky toss. But thanks for bobbing in, mate. Right then, so we're in the garage now. So we've got a maintenance section. Well to, welcome to the garage. This is where you can service your vehicle, purchase and sell cars or components and personalise and enhance your ride. Here you can repair the whole car. Keep in mind that you can also fix parts as needed. Just remember, these repairs can only be performed in the garage. You can also refuel, charge a car here and clean it. Right, so let's... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, hang on a minute. This is our progression section. Okay, you are in the progression panel. You can see all the perks you can unlock. To do that, you have to spend skill points. You get one point every time you are promoted to the next level. Right, so let's go back to the garage and uh, see what we can do in here. So there we are. We've got cars. Okay, so let's continue. You can select another car, check its parameters, and buy it if you have enough money. Parts, yeah. That's it for now. You know the basics and aspects of Taxi Life. Read the codex if you want to know more. So we can customize. Um, see, let's see if we can paint it with the paint that we picked at the beginning, the yellow and the black. Let's have a look at that. Uh, so change option, no. Select category, customize. Here we go. So we can adjust the upholstery uh, in the cab so we can change the colours. That's rank. I think we'll keep that as normal. Uh, we can change... Oh, look at this. This is cool. Um, uh, I don't... I think there is a free roam mode, yes, from what I remember them saying. So these are all locked. You don't have to do a career. You can just drive around and pick passengers up. So there's those, and we've got dashboard decorations as well. Gotta have a dog on there. That looks like my dog. I'm having that. There we go. So I've set that up. Um, right. So let's look at cars. 
So, oh, there's the... Um... Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, we. How do I... No, I didn't want to do that. And I want to change the colour of my car. Good morning, Crafty Martin. Good to see you, my man. Go back in the garage. I've not finished in there yet. I want to see if we can paint. Is that it? So that's washing. Um, I'm wondering to see if we can paint the car. I wonder if we have to go somewhere else to paint the car. It won't let me either. Have a look. Ah, there it is. That's... Oh, it won't let me do it. Why is it doing that? As you can see there, there's the vintage car that we get for pre-ordering as well. Right, well, let's head out. And let's go and, uh, and do some jobs, shall we? So let's go to the map menu. And we'll go pick this person up. That's a short job. Let's see if we can get quite a long job, shall we? A medium job. There we go. So let's pick this one, Sonia Novak, length medium, a distance to start point, 0 0.7 kilometers. Right then, let's go pick this young lady up. We're on our way. We're gonna go and do our first proper, really, official taxi job. Now we've started the car up. There's a ballard. All right, be patient, man. Good lord. I think I'm going the wrong way here. Ah, oh, well. Oh, I'm going down a one way, everybody. Good Lord. Right, here we go. We'll turn right. Going completely the wrong way here, aren't I? Look at the traffic down here. It's mayhem. The subtitles need to be bigger. I've got my glasses on. I'm all right. It feels great, uh, Swish. It feels really good. Let's say I am using the Thrustmaster eSwap controller. Um, which has like a little mini wheel. Um, so it just does give me that little bit of element of control. Um, and then you smash into a car like that. Hashtag chat's fault. Um, very well, thank you, Marty. Good to see you, mate. <laughs> Whoops indeed, Liam. Whoops indeed. Oh, dear me. Can't believe I've crashed already. That'll please a few people. Right, so it looks like if we turn right, the passenger is up there, but that's probably another one-way uh, uh, area. So we've got to go all the way around the block. But yeah, up to now, it's looking pretty good. We've got a red light here. Once again, though, this is what... In these games like this, you just can't see when you pull up to traffic lights. Oh. We've got people crossing over there. Come on, peeps. He changed his mind at the last minute. Hey, up, what's she doing there? What? Hey, oh, he's changed his mind again. Off he goes. There he are. Figured out where he's going. I wonder what the speed limits are. Are these people... Yeah, we're going to take a right here, I think. Blimey, all right. I'd love to see a functioning meter in the cans... Uh, what happens if you play GTA GTA style? I'd probably get arrested, mate. I don't know what'll happen. I'll probably lose XP, which I don't really want to do. I think the uh, the NPCs are struggling walking around a little bit, aren't they? They seem to moonwalk an awful lot in a um, in the same way that they do on TSW. Hi, Lee. Just a sneak peek of you early life stream. Hang with you later. No worries, buddy. No worries, my friend. Right, so we're going to swing a right here. Got more people crossing over. Do you know if Thrustmaster T300 RS will be compatible with this game? I read their page, but the T300 was not there. Okay, so on the controller, on the wheel front, obviously you ain't going to get them working on console at the moment. Um, but if you see a Thrustmaster uh, wheel being supported, it's a good chance that your model of Thrustmaster will work as well. Uh, and if it does work, if you can go into their Discord and report it working, that would be fantastic because they've only tested a certain amount of wheels, you see. So yeah, if you could let them know, that would be great. Nighty in here. 
Right, where are we going here now? Just a quick hello, uh, babysitting, we'll catch the stream and watch out later. No worries, Nate, good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, pal. Uh, Xbox Series X took an update for me yesterday, I assume this was one day of a patch. How you doing, 13? Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're well, mate. So it was worth me taking the day off after all. I nearly, you know, booked some clients in when I heard yesterday that this was going to be delayed. Um, but I didn't, in the end, I thought, Do you know what, I'll just have the day off and create some content for the guys. And uh, I've already created one video this morning uh, to go out later on today. Where's the uh, patience meter for this client? Doing all right here, aren't we? I'm enjoying this view at the moment. Let's put the handbrake on. Oh, he came a bit close then behind me, didn't he? I'm going to try to see if I can switch the radio on. He's very quiet in the back. You there? there? There she is. Oh, Christ, we're in the wrong lane. We need to turn left. Sorry. Sorry. Just be a bit patient with me. It's my first day on the job. There we go. Right, come on, fella. What are you doing here? Looks like we need to be in this lane. We're about a mile and a half away from our destination. There we go. I'm going to take a right. So I was in the right lane for a change. I'm going to swing a right here for the looks of it. What is he doing there? Whoa, 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 someone's just rear-ended me. The bloody hell's going on? Unreal. Hang on, my steering's all to cock. What is going on here? That was weird. Right, I'm back on the thumbstick now, so we'll, we'll try it on the thumbstick for a little bit. I know, that, that was odd, wasn't it? Well, there's a bug already. It felt like someone had rear-ended me. My... my my controller vibrated. Oh, Christ, it's a lot more difficult on the thumbstick. Good Lord, it's a little bit twitchy. We've got a speed camera here. On the right-hand side. We didn't get caught by it, though. Yeah, it felt like someone rear-ended me. And then all of a sudden, my controls all went back to front. And all the... Uh, all the AI disappeared. Which is really weird. Let's see if it does anything. Now I want to put my wheel back on. Get my wheels back to normal now. That's better. Tell you what, guys, it's very twitchy on the thumbsticks. You're going to have to experiment a little bit with your uh, sensitivity settings, I think. I didn't like that at all. I've gone back to the wheel. For that geezer to uh, get out of the way. Mind you, the passenger in the back didn't say anything, did they? They didn't complain. What's this fool doing? There we go. We go oh, where am I going here? I think I'm going down here. There we go. Yep. This is right. Not as easy as it looks, you know. It's really fast on the thumbstick, Liam. Really fast. I didn't like that at all then. As I say, I've, I've, I've gone back to my little wheel on the uh, on the Thrustmaster E-Swap. Oh, can anybody tell me why it's brought me round this way when I could have just have gone round there like so? But anyway, I think we're only going down here now anyway. Let's head back in the cab. Here we go, and this is where this young lady... Good job I saw her then, wasn't it? Here we go. We'll pull in here on the right-hand side. And that is our first proper real official job done that we've picked up on our own. Let's see how we did. 
90 out of 100 on client patience. Difficulty normal, length medium, blah de blah blah de blah. Distance travel 3.1 kilometers, and we earned 363 euros. I got a 33 euro tip then, everybody. We've got another task just coming here on the bottom right hand side. Well, let's take that. So I've automatically just took uh, a job there. We've got air conditioning down here. I'm trying to turn the radio on just to have a look at it. But I think, how do I? I can't remember now all my buttons. There was that many? Here we go, right. So we press down on the D-pad and we get into this option. So there we go, we can click the right stick. Blimey O'Reilly. We've got Groovy City Radio. Thunderhead FM. City looks a bit dead. Yeah, I am no it does feel a bit quiet, doesn't it? Have passengers complained yet, Leo? Is that and um no no one's complained yet. No one's complained. Got a bit of classic radio. Anyway. We'll turn the radio off. Right, let's go pick our next passenger up. On our way, handbrake off. And here we go. We're off again. To pick up another client. Turn that indicator off, put the handbrake on. I can't see the lights when I'm in the car. That is a bit of a ball ache, if I'm completely honest. But I suppose as well... If we were in the car, we could use that lean forward function, couldn't we? Oh, I've left my handbrake. Look, someone's just smashed into me again! Good lord, these NPCs are off their head! Absolutely nuts! Right, so around this roundabout, at 50 kilometres an hour, a bit fast. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Sorry. No actual physical damage, so we're all right. Tell you what, Geek Daddy. They must be French. Good Lord. Absolute nutters, mate. So what do you all think so far? Are you, are you enjoying it? I'm, hang on a minute. What's going on here? And we're turning round here. We're going to go around this monument down here. Bit of pop in there from the trees in this monument. Get in that lane. There we go. We've got to go round here. That's just been another accident here. It's bloody nuts. These people are off their heads. Right, I think we're going to do a Yui here. You like it, uh, Jack? Are you enjoying it, pal? I think we're doing a Yui around here now. Hello all, looks like a great game, although a shame there is no rain in the game and no need for the wipers. Have a great day. Thank you very much for popping in, Morton. Uh, hi, Ali. Just wanted to thank you in person for your series of Truck Driver, the American Dream videos. I'm the guy you convinced to buy it on sale the other day. Much appreciated. No worries, Benjamin. I'm glad you're enjoying it, mate. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, there should be another episode of the story mode on the channel tomorrow. Gonna overtake this dude here. There we go. Oh crap. Good lord. That was lucky, wasn't it? Right, here's our next passenger. We'll pull in here. There we go. Are we in? Oh, we're a bit out there. There we go. There we go. There is rain in the game. I thought that was this hey. place. Uh no, not at the moment, NMS. No wheel support. Uh, doctor says it looks cool. Right, so we're off again. It looks like we're going to go back. Christ, I need to check my mirrors, don't I, really? Um, looks like we're going back round this roundabout again. Turn my indicators off. There we go. Yeah, we're going to head round this roundabout again. Spin round. Nice and smooth, though. Well, we, we have had a couple of frame rate drops, haven't we? But nothing major that's... Oh, crap. Sorry, sorry. Rogue taxi driver. Can I go straight across here? Yes, we've got a green light. Right, back in the cab. Back in the cab. No worries, uh, Valley Rios. The big name. 96 here now. How many have signed the petition? Uh, rain in the game in Spain, not on the plane. 
Right, where are we going here? I think we need to be over here. And we're going over here. Oh my lord, this is frightening. I tell you what, it's not as easy as it looks because you've got so much to take in. I mean, when the traffic's around you like that and you've got... Because we're all in very close proximity as well. And you've got the sat-nav to keep an eye on. Yeah, it's, uh, it's quite tricky. Someone's just rear-ended me again. That tool behind me. Yeah, what me, love? I don't know why you're looking at me like that. It was the idiot behind us, love. Good Lord. They're absolute nutters. I'm going to be bankrupt. Pay for damages that, that weren't my fault. The insurance premium's going to be bloody sky high. He's looking at me in the back as if it was my fault. You're getting this, Jack. Awesome. Exit the map by pressing escape on Xbox Series X. <laughs> What's that said? That bloody love art's in the way again. I've not took it off, have I? Try winding some windows down in a minute. We've not done that yet, have we? So, hey, oh. how are you enjoying driving around Barcelona? I'll let you know in a minute. I'll reply. Uh, I like it, love. Oh, I'm loving it. There's just so much to see in this city. What makes driving here so special for you? Won't reply. Uh, the people. I love the Definitely people. Definitely the people. I love learning about their experiences in this city. What's your favorite part of the city to drive in? Good lord, love. What is this? Mastermind? Uh, I like to go to the seaside. I would say the seaside area. The views of the Mediterranean are simply breathtaking. Oh, I love it too. Ah, she likes a good chit chat, doesn't she? Hey, at least you didn't ask me if I'm busy and what time I'm on till. Hey, up speed bumps it. First time we've come across them. Nice. Uh, Mr. Water, I will love this if I keep getting rear-ended. My type of game, lol. <laughs> game looks fun with NPC drivers need a bit. Yeah, they do, don't they? The way they're smashing into me like that. Absolute madness, because at the end of the day, that's going to cost you money. You've got to repair your vehicles, haven't you? Just taking it steady now down these back streets, because obviously we've got these pedestrian crossings. And you can see we've got parked cars on our right-hand side. Oh, there's the patience meter. It's on the sat-nav. There it is. Are you crossing over there, Cap? Come on, then. You pop. Just under a kilometre to go now until we drop this... Young lady off. There's damage, yes. There is damage, super blank. And we have to work, pay for it to be repaired as well. I've not seen any physical damage yet, though, on the cars. And we've rear-ended somebody and two people have rear-ended us. We should go and check it. Good Lord, she just appeared out of nowhere, didn't she? I'll head this way. Well, I like all the detail there of all the boxes piled up at the side of the road. Cafes. Loving the environments. It's really nice. Very well detailed. Very well detailed. How you doing, Denny? Good to see you. A lot of pedestrian crossings, aren't there? Now, I've never been to uh, Barcelona either. Uh, Euros, super blank. We've had a look in the options. I can't see uh, any way to turn them to pounds or dollars, but why you'd want to do that anyway, because we're in Barcelona. And they accept Euros. Dog <laughs> Dodge of editions, yeah. Good Lord. I'm going straight across here. This is quite a nice little journey, isn't it? It looks like here there's a like a, a sleep oh it's a gar that's another garage there so we're turning right here Let's head in here i don't know if you can hear it guys if it's coming across on the stream but when you slow down and you turn you can hear the uh the tires moving on the tarmac which is a nice little feature i like that i like that highly was there a day one but i didn't see one mate i didn't see one Okay, 
So there is rain in the game. Well, think we've not had any yet. Good lord, it's tight round here, isn't it? Uh, the live stream from the developer and I thought they said there is only rain on the street animation, no rain on the windscreen. Sorry. More damage there. I've been, it does look like Barca, does it, DJ? Nice, nice. Right, here we go. We've got some more people crossing the road. Nearly ran them over there because I was looking down at the chat. Right, let's... I don't like the indicators on the D-pad, but I can see why they've done that because they use LB and RB. Uh, to select functions for the vehicle. Good Lord, it is tight round the back streets, isn't it? I've been to Valencia uh, in Spain, but I've never been to uh, Barcelona. Looks like we're taking a right here, and this is our drop-off point. Well, I think we did quite well there, all things considered. Bye-bye. See you later, love. Just came out of nowhere, but I could be wrong, hope so. Hashtag chat's fault indeed, the geek daddy. Right, so we've got a $42 tip for that one. I got paid 422 uh, So we've got another task coming. It's an easy one. John White, he looks a happy soul. So we'll go pick him up. Can you rebind the buttons? Not that I've seen, Stephen, no. Not that I've seen. Sorry about that. Right, we're going to take a right at the end of the street here. This looks like a tight turn. Good Lord, how am I going to get round this? Look at this here. How am I supposed to get round there? There we go. Look at that for driving, ladies and gentlemen. Like a pro. Right, we've been rear-ended. It doesn't look like we've got any damage there. Car's looking a bit rough, though, isn't it? It's looking dirty. Oh, wow, we have got a little bit of damage on the front there, I think. Unless that's dirt, I can't really tell. There's a very cool feature with quick look on your side mirrors. I've just got another achievement. Young driver. Ten kilometres already, everybody. I haven't seen it in any other car game. Yeah, I have um, tried to use that a couple of times. It's just... Getting used to it all, buddy, at the moment. Uh, from... Hang on a minute. I just saw something then that I want to read. From watching Dean, he said the stutter isn't that bad on PS5. Uh, 34 99 for normal edition, 39 99 for supporter edition. Right, it, oh, we've missed a turning now. Look. I should have looked behind me first before I uh, started to reverse then. There we go. I'm really enjoying these uh, these back streets. It's really nicely done. How tight it is and how detailed they are. Really, really nice. Bag of sand there. Look, there's just something at every turn, isn't there, to look at? And that's what I love about it. Swinging a right. Vanilla ice there, crossing the road. Plants and rubbish, leaves on the floor there, look. All those scooters parked up. There's our client now. Pull in. Nice action. Yes, you can rebind the buttons. Ah, there you go then. Thanks for answering that, Hello. Stephen. Christ, you have shout at me, fella. You're only sat in the back of me bloody car. Good Lord, man. Let's have a look at this, fella. There's, there, there is something big on the window. Y use wipers. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a bug or something on window. Um, 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 down on the D-pad. This is a lot of faff. Where are my wipers? It's a shame I've had to stop to do this. Where are my wipers? Car settings. There they are. Are they actually going? Can't tell. Yeah, they are. There we are. I got rid of them. Is there a way I could turn these off? They are there. You could just look at them. We sat in front with me. Hey up, buddy. How you doing? Right, so rather than getting that all those um, radial menus up, you can actually just look at the function you want to use, like the wipers, and just turn them on and off. And I think that's the way I'll go with it, I reckon. 
Boity, how you doing, buddy? Yeah, I'm enjoying it up to now, mate. It's just, I'm just trying to get used to everything. It's, um, I'm, I, I'm not keen on these radial menus up to up to the up, up to now. But like I said, you can just look down at the function you want to use. Serial killer. I hope not, Donald. I hope not, brother. I'm gonna swing around here. Good lord, they just appear out of nowhere. How are we doing for fuel? That's it. Is that the fuel gauge on the right hand side? It must be, mustn't it? Speed bump again. So this is a very short job. We're almost there. Less than half a kilometre to go. I tell you, they keep you busy with the NPCs crossing the road, don't they? They certainly do. Oh, come on, you bunch of idiots. Come on. Good luck. Why is everybody wearing tracksuits? David can't wait to get on the PlayStation 5. Don't hit pedestrian. It costs heaps. Well. I'm going to be here all bloody day. We've got no chance of hitting anybody. We're not moving. Sorry about this, fella. I know you've got to shoot off and kill people, but, you know, we'll be there in a tick. Um, that looked... Oh, oh. Where am I supposed to be here? There. That was a bit weird. Right, so we're going to swing her out up here, fella. Thanks for subscribing there, Chione. Um, so we nearly missed our turn in there. There we go. How quick that wheel comes back. Take your hand off that thing. Uh, Vlad sure looks pretty. I wonder how the, uh, the AI is questionable at the moment. Uh, they've uh, rear-ended us a few times. Now, I know that can happen in real life, but someone's not rear-ended me in my car for a very long time. Oh, I've missed me turning again. Christ, on a bike. Here we go. Oh, what if I just bloody hit? Oh, another car. Well, what fancy going up the side of me? I did indicate, didn't I? Bloody idiot. What's this fella doing here now? Hey up. Oh. Looks like the AI's had a brain fart here now, everybody. You can unlock skills. There is one for long affairs. I read a description. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at that in a minute, right? We're just going to go around this. Look, it's like the AI completely. Look, they're queuing up. The traffic's here has just gone nuts. There we go. We'll just go round them like that. This fella's not going to be happy at all. Took forever to get here. There we go. Splendid job. Fine. Hey up, pal. What happened to the supposed delay? I do not know, Majestic. Uh, it took me by surprise as it, is, as it did with everybody else. Might be a while before you can get that skill. Well, it's not come up that we've um, had any skill points yet, has it? It's not said anything yet. The so bonus detail, speed limit bonus, respecting areas not available to cars, no small collisions, no big collisions. Not stopping at a red light and driving against the traffic flow. I don't remember doing that. I don't remember doing that. Uh, is it working on PlayStation 5 as well? Yes, according to some guys in the chat, it is working on PlayStation 5 as well. Uh, Keventin. It is. Shall we take another job? I reckon we will. Right. Let's uh, indicate out of it, and we'll head on our way. We've got a green light here. We'll take a right. Like that. Speed bump. Here we go. Here's our passenger. That was a nice short trip to our next passenger, wasn't it? As the car rolls away, as she gets Hello. in, because I forgot to put my handbrake in. How do, love? Good to see you. Hope you're well. Lovely day, isn't it? There we go. We're going to go around this roundabout. Looks like we're down near the seaside, everybody. At the moment. What the hell are you doing there, you tool? I swear to God. 
Honestly, you've got to have your wits about you. And we're going to head up here. Now, she's not started gassing to me yet, which is a good thing. There we go, into the cab. I do, Bayram. Yeah, I'm enjoying it up to now, mate. It's just an awful lot to, to take on. <laughs> it's Grand Theft Auto styles, indeed. Uh, I've not... Is there a cruise control? That's, uh, that's a thought. But yeah, I'm enjoying it, Paul. Lad, just wondering how the texture pop... Yeah, I've had a little bit of uh, pop in, Ian. Um, but nothing that's sort of immersion breaking. So you've turned, you'll, you'll turn a corner and some trees will pop in way off in the distance or uh, a building on the horizon will just pop in, but nothing that's, you know, really bad. I, I can cope with that. I can cope with it. It's when, so say if we were driving down here now and all these bushes on my left-hand side were uh, popping in, that would be immersion breaking for me or trees next to me and lampposts were, were popping in. Someone's just slammed into the back of me again. Again, it's happened. It was that tool there in the blue. Well, this is what I said, wasn't it, with the train life the other night. There's a tip how to I use cruise control the in the help section. Driving I'll there, have please. a look. I'll have a look. Be careful, the route was updated. Check the new destination. Uh, someone's just said... In the help section. Is that here? Yes, RB. Help section. Driving. Uh, acceleration. Braking. Reversing. Clutch. Other controls. Uh, honk. Radial menu. Windows. Additional car systems. Air conditioning. Emergency actions. Additional cruise control. Once activated, the car will maintain the selected speed until you manually turn it off or use the brake pedal. Yeah, but how do I turn it on? How do I turn it on? I hope so as well, Toski, mate. To try to set off. I keep forgetting to turn my handbrake off. So every people crossing the roads every two seconds. Let's get over here. I'm trying to make my mind up as well, which is my favourite view at the moment, because every time I seem to jump in the cab. Uh, of the car, someone rear ends me. When I've been doing this view, it doesn't seem to happen. I head around here like so. Oh, we've got another red light here. There we go. I wonder what happens if we do go through a red light. Do we, uh... But as I'm saying, if you look in the cab, you can't see any lights at all. You can't see anything. Yeah, it makes no sense to release it after midday on a different platform. I think it's because of this bug yesterday, isn't it? Uh, that's the issue. Uh, obviously, it was a major problem on Steam than it was on Xbox and PlayStation. They've managed to get it sorted for the consoles. Uh, but there seems to be some issue with the Steam version. But for once console versions come out on top because it's usually PC versions isn't it? Neon Man's hello, cruise control does nothing on PS5 from what I can tell hold L1 and press left or right on the D-pad if I can remember yeah so if you press L1 and press left on the D-pad that is cruise, cruise control and it does work on the Xbox don't go through the light you might go bankrupt lol <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for that tip, uh, Neon. Very much appreciated. I um, I checked out some of your gameplay earlier on today. Hang on a minute. Have the lights changed here? What are we waiting for? All right, I'm going. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Um, oh, I've missed me turning. <sighs> Rubbish. All right, let's see what happens, actually, if we miss our turning. Let's see what the sat-nav does. see what it does what issues do you have you with the steam version because i don't see any, anything there was an issue yesterday where they said they found a major bug and they've had to delay the release um, and it's not coming out till later on on the um on steam that's the issue i'm talking about you we thought 
Um, it was going to affect the console versions as well. They never specified if it was all versions, console version. Let's take a ride down here. But I'm loving the driving experience at the moment. Really nice. Like I said, I never upload, but uh, only uploaded to give people a look at how it runs. No, I appreciate it, buddy. Had it a few days now, but was unsure if it was like. Mate, if you're if you've got the game uh, earlier than anybody else, there's no law stopping you um, putting that content out there. The only time you're not allowed to is if you're in an embargo uh, with the games company. Uh, I often get some of them. I mean, I've got one today for a video I'm putting out later. Uh, I can't put it out until this particular time. I do, Steve. No worries, mate. Cybervin Louis, the steering animation is a little bit clunky. Now, that was them next to me, that was. Uh, I'm finding it all right at the moment, uh, Cyber. It's not too shabby at all. Good Lord, am I going left here? I mean, it is a little bit fast there, but you can turn that down uh, in the sensitivity settings. Oh, no way. See, I usually get my games early, but I would... No, you won't get in trouble with anybody, mate. Like I said, the only way you'll get in trouble is if you was like a content creator like myself or like you you put content out there and a games company gave you the game early to test out and review and create content with but you put that content out before they say so um, they're not going to sue you or anything but they probably won't deal with you again in future when they want to create content for them um, they do got to work on the AI though yeah I'm, I'm having a few issues with AI Oh, Christ. They're having issues with me as well. Uh, they just sit there at lights all day. Another fave game of mine. Thank you. To no, no worries, mate. Uh, we're going to take a left here. There we go. I guess cruise control is only available on certain cars. Possibly, Mystic. Possibly. Funny, I make vids. Uh, two. Sorry, the love hearts covering up the rest of your chat there. I can't quite make out uh, what you've put there, buddy. You make you make vids too. Nice one, mate. Ashley, how's the game on PS5? If anyone knows, uh, Mr. Water is in the chat. He may be able to tell you. He said there is another content creator now um, streaming it on PlayStation 5, and he's had the odd stutter, but nothing too bad. Do you agree? The character selection is terrible. And yeah, there's no female characters, is there? I wonder why that is. Probably a complete oversight. There's these question marks. Let's see what these do. What are the question marks? Graffiti. Press A to collect. There we go. We've just collected some graffiti. As you do when you're a taxi driver. Right, let's actually drop this person off because all this time we've been messing about we have had a, a client in the back of the car bye bye we've been very quiet is the audio of the game soft because i can't really hear can you not hear anything do you want me to turn it up a bit alexis would you like me to turn it up a touch uh, dj jeans i make videos too hard just cinematics instead of gameplay uh, can you tweak the frequency levels of the ai well shall we go into the options again uh, to show some of you guys. So these are, we've got game settings. So we've got gearbox uh, modes, which you can go to semi arcade simulation and clutch. Uh, difficulty level, acceleration sensitivity, brake sensitivity, steering sensitivity at low speed and high speed. That's all the options in there. And then in the system settings, we've got gamma for video, um, the usual stuff in there, language and controls. Uh, so you can turn down the vibration sensitivity if you want. I'm going to turn that up, actually. I do like a lot of vibration. And then it looks as well. You can change your controls around as well, which I might have a mess around with later, I think, and try to come up with something a little bit more intuitive. If you can, I want to hear the car sounds a bit better. Right, I'll turn it up, mate. Uh, so we'll save and exit there. Let me just turn this up. Um for a little, a little bit. Vlad, what languages are there? One sec, mate. Uh, I've turned it up a little bit. 
Well, let's just head back into those settings then. We'll show what languages there are as well. Your missus loves a lot. <laughs> Walked right into that one, didn't I? Um, so we've got that language, which is some, some kind of Asian. Uh, that one, which looks like Eastern European. Portuguese, uh, Poland, Netherlands. That one, that one. Italian, French, Spanish, and English, and Dutch. Oh, there we are. Uh, that one. Yeah, so that's it. They're all the languages. Which isn't bad. It's quite uh, inclusive, isn't it? No worries, Majestic. Why you say that... Why you say that neon lagging on the PlayStation 5? Uh, save and exit. Right, so let's resume our career. Right, did I actually uh, pick a passenger? Did I select a new job then or not? Can't remember. I honestly can't remember after all that. There is a passenger around the corner, so we'll go pick them up, eh? I don't think we can actually turn left down there, though. So let's bring the map up. Uh, there is a passenger here. Another short job, so we'll select that one. And we'll go pick them up, eh? Let's turn that indicator off. There we go. Turn the indicator off. I keep pressing LB for indicators. It's just habit. I'm going to head round it. I need a drink. I'm so thirsty. It's unreal. I'm talking non-stop for an hour and 15 minutes. I could do with another coffee. I'm going to head over here now. And then... Oh, good lord. That was close. What world seems huge if done in one-to-one -one scale? I'll be honest, right, Vlad. I've only been playing an hour and 15 minutes at the moment. But I'm not noticing any sort of... You know, if the, the map feels small, I'm... Can you understand what I'm saying? Obviously, as, as I keep playing it over time... Um, I'm going to start noticing that I've been here an awful lot, or I've been there an awful lot. There we go. Cow's moving forward. Good lord. Need to remember to put... It doesn't really give you a chance to put your handbrake on. Um, as you pull up. I just want to try something now. So if I press LB... There we go, and look right. There we go. So that's your quick look. Press LB and move your, your right stick. You're able to look quickly to your left and your right. If you push forward. You, ah, so that's how you see your lights. At the traffic lights, look. If you press backwards. Hey, oh, we got two of them in here. All right, girls, how you doing? And that's how you do that, you see. Right, so. Let's get out of here. We don't seem to have any traffic there. We're going to pull out slowly. Nearly hit. Jesus Christ. Accelerator uh, sensitivity needs looking at, I think. That's one thing I'll definitely be looking at. To literally only have to tap the accelerator and we are flying. I'll definitely be looking at that in my own time. And the steering sensitivity. It's a little bit too much for me at the moment. Fake taxi. <laughs> Do you think that's what I'm doing at the moment? Bean flickers. Like a lad's day out in the chat. Like a stag do. After you finish watching this channel first, obviously, yeah, no worries. Uh, and brake uh, and brake sensitivity. That's if a break now. So let's have a look. We're going fifty. Look how quick that breaks. That's too quick for me. Right, and brake on. Yes, I'll be adjusting the. Uh, the steering sensitivity indeed. I really will be. Because uh, just a little bit too quick at the moment. Like I said, with this... Uh, with this wheel that I've got on the controller, on the Thrustmaster E-Swap, I am finding it a little bit easier than I was earlier on. Uh, with... There you are, look. I can see the lights now. That's better, isn't it? It's just getting used to all the different controls that we have at our disposal. 
uh, and using them in, in different situations. That's what I'm learning at the moment. Don't forget, Lee, customer tip well if your car is clean. Yeah, we're going to need to go to a garage, aren't we? Because um, it's been a while since we've cleaned the car or done anything with it. And I think we've got about half a tank of fuel left as well at the moment. Apparently, apparently I've just put cruise control on. We'll see how well that works out. I'm not pressing any buttons at the moment, just steering. Dude, that control is so good. I picked it up last week. Game changer. Being able to set it up like a PlayStation 5 controller. Yeah, it's wicked, isn't it, mate? Map looks really detailed, but I see a lot of pop-ups. Yeah, there, there is a, a bit of pop-up here and there. Um, but nothing bad. Nothing awful. It's not, it's not taking me out of that immersion at the moment. So we're just not going to mention that poor pedestrian. Did I run somebody over? Did I hurt? Did I run someone over? I didn't see that. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen, Donald. If I didn't see it, it didn't happen. Oh, I hit that person that just crossing 100 points. <laughs> I did see that, that near miss on my left hand side. You also collected a pedestrian back there. Phew. <laughs> I did see that. Oh no, we're not turning left here. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. It's a lot of fun. This is just a nice chilled out game, isn't it? Oh. That was on Amber. That was on Amber. Amber Gambler there. Can't pay your taxi fare. Well, I'm sure we could come to some other one. <laughs> oh dear me. Jesus wept. Like some of those TikToks that you see, innit? Yeah, so what we'll do after this, we'll head back to a garage. And uh, we'll clean the taxi up. We'll wash it, refuel it. Uh, clean the inside and all that kind of good stuff. I think here. Oh, crikey, O'Reilly. That was close. Tosk has just gifted a membership. Thank you very much there, Tosk. Very much appreciated. And thanks for subscribing as well, Angel Wings. Very much appreciated. I want to be a hero. How you doing? How you doing? I want to be a hero gamer. Nice to see you in alive. Ashley got the membership as well. Well done to Ashley. Oh, let's collect this. There we go. Up on the curb for some random reason. There we go. You're not getting out or what? This is your stop. Park the entire vehicle within the market to finish the current job. There you go. See you later, ladies. Oh, hang on a minute. Is she staying with me or what? Has she got out? I'm not taking that job. Oh, yeah, she did get out. Right. Um, Hi. Uh, definitely must have been police from Brighton. Oh, and I'm moving. I'm moving. Uh, what I want to do now, like I said, I want to go to a garage. Uh, and we'll do see if we can clean the car. Fuel up. And all that sort of stuff. So there's literally one just here. There it is. Right, so we're going to head to that next. That is where we're going to. Has it set a waypoint? I don't think it has, has it? Let's open the map panel again. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. There. Cancel selected waypoint. Can cancel all waypoints. So let's cancel that again. Add waypoint. There we go. So I've added the waypoint. Maybe the waypoint will kick in once I get off this curb, maybe. I reckon that will be... Uh... The controller they're giving away on Twitter looks cool. It does, doesn't it? That's another thing. People just appear sat in your car out of nowhere sometimes. 
Like you'll pick up one person and suddenly two will be in your car. It annoys me that no matter how good looking these games are, the mirrors are always naff. Yeah, I've been looking at the mirrors as I've been driving around and I don't think they look too shabby. I've seen worse. I've seen a lot worse. This looks like a dead end. Looks like we're going to be doing a three-point turn here. Three-point turn in action. Press the wrong button. <laughs> right, is this sat-nav going to kick in or what? I tell you what we've not seen yet either. Uh, any night time. Great to see live gameplay. Awesome. Good to see you as well, my friend. I wish there was steering wheel support. Yeah, well, fingers crossed it does come at some point or other. Uh, midi. Fingers crossed. That's why I never use my mirrors. Just gun it and pray. Where are we going to it? Ah, so it has kicked in now. It's kicked in now. So we'll do a bit of uh, outside view because we've done a bit of cab view for a while now, haven't we? I say we'll head to the garage and we'll see what options we've got in there for tidying up and see if there's any nice little cool animations uh, as we clean the car up. Well, a bit of time off from uh, picking passengers up for the time being. This guy's broken down, I think. Oh, no. Well, whatever, Trevor. Just sat there taking your time, buddy. We've got a job to do. Gonna go and clean our taxi up. What we're off to do. As he mounts the curb and nearly uh, taking people out there. And break on. And the lights change already. Wonder if there is random weather. Well, we've had different uh, reports that there is rain, there isn't rain. I've had no rain yet, but once again, we're in Barcelona, we're in Spain. It, it rains there, but it doesn't rain often, so. What do you think, Lee? Worth the buy on console now or wait for another patch up? I, I don't see anything wrong with it at the moment. I'm, I'd, like I said, I've experienced worse popping on other, other games, on other driving games. A lot worse. Put it this way, when Fernbus came out, I remember when that came out, it was an absolute SH1T show. It was dreadful. Uh, and I, got, I bought that at, at full price, and that definitely wasn't worth it. But this is worth it for release. Definitely. I, I, I don't see an awful lot wrong with it at the moment. Some people might disagree with me. But the frame rate seems to be holding up okay. I've had no major bugs. Apart from near the beginning, the controller went a bit skew-whiffy. But that happened to me last night on another game. So I think that might be more to do with my controller than it was the game. The graphics can be better. Um, I don't see an awful lot wrong with them. Remember as well, this is a, a £35 game. So, you know, you're talking indie, indie developer prices here. Now your AAA games are about £70, 70 pounds, and some of them look a lot worse. I can deal with this, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, I'd say worth it for sure. I'm more than happy with it at the moment. I think my car's pulling over to the right. right is this the garage? Yes, it is. Right, so we've got to pull in here and then reverse round, I think. Yep. This is the garage. Here we go. So press A to enter the garage. Right, so here we go. Let's see if we can uh, clean this bad boy up. The cleanliness isn't too bad at the moment. Let's see if we can figure this out now. Let's see if we can change our colours as well and all that kind of jazz. So we're going to give it a full wash. How much money have we got? 4,882. There, we'll give it a full wash. We'll give it a full repair. So nothing real fancy here. No fancy animations or anything like that, is there? Um, the brakes are touching. Yeah, we're going to have a mess around with those settings later on, uh, Hero Gamer. The graphic is like truck driver and construction sim in one, in my opinion. Yeah. Yep, good. 
Yeah, good point. Colors should be in customize, I think. Right, so let's head across to customize. Here we go. So let's the car outside. So let's select the category. Ooh, here we go. Right. Here we go. So these are all the different options that we've got. Different colors. So some of these will be with the uh, supporters pack that came with the, uh, the, the £40 version. So there's your regular kind of taxi colors. Uh, we've got street art colors as well. These are quite, oh, I like that one. Too much for a taxi, though, isn't it? There we go. And we got these, like, pearlescent ones. They're quite nice. I like that one as well. That's pretty cool. But I'll tell you what we'll do. Because we've played a taxi game, I'm going to be a little bit boring and go for uh, regular taxi colours. Yeah, £35 is a bargain by today's standards. I paid extra £5 for support. Yeah, same here, uh, the Mystic Dave. Uh, what quality do you broadcast in, Lee? I'm watching on a big screen and it doesn't look that sharp. I'm streaming in 1080p, Donald. And because it's live streaming as well, the quality does dip in and out, Donald. Once it's been uploaded properly to YouTube and it becomes a video, you will see a difference in quality. Oh my God, you have way cooler colours than me. <laughs> I'll have to buy the supporters pack. Yeah, for thirty nine nine nine, you can't beat that, Lee. Thank you. I'm hitting the buy button as we speak. Be nice if they add online play. Be so fun to cab with friends. Yeah, that would be nice. Lower it. Put some neons on. Well, we we will have a look and uh, see what else we can do. Uh, so we've got LED lights. So we can have them on underneath, which uh, is isn't really for me, if I'm honest. Uh, taxi sign, so we can change the taxi sign on the top as well, which is pretty cool. That one's locked at the moment. Those two are locked. I'm going to go for that one. This is all costing money, by the way. Uh, we can also change our spoilers at the back. So I'm not going to bother with that. And we can also change our wheels as well. If we uh, if we fancy it. So shall we get... Oh, look at these. Some white walls, everybody. White walls, lower it, put some neons underneath, subwoofer, hook that trick. Um, virtual, what's that, it's that virtual cab companies, it's the way forward. Yeah, we can see it already, can't you? I'm going to go for them, I like them. I like them. So, resting, uh, so we can have a rest, shall we rest a bit and see if we can get it to be night time? Let's give that a go, so I've rested. Um, also, we've got parts here as well. So engine, yeah, you can change and adjust the engine. You can buy a, uh, another engine for your car if you want. Uh, different type of brake pads. Reduce the braking time. Good Lord, you must instantly stop then. Uh, and tyres as well. Performance tyres on better on wet surfaces. And you can change your gearbox as well. You can change it to manual if you so wish. You can drive in manual gear. How much is the the taxi van? Uh, let's have a look at cars then. Uh, all. Oh, sorry about this. One sec. All. It won't. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It keeps changing. Hang on a minute. I'm trying to figure it out. Ah, there we go. Right. We've got that little taxi there for 6,500. Uh, that one there is currently 5,000. That's the one we're driving now, isn't it, I think? The taxi van is 11,000. It is. 11,000 to buy that. And we've got like an executive, looks like a Mercedes almost, doesn't it? Uh, that's 24,000. That is. But we have got these two cars here to unlock oh and that one as well we've got the vintage car we can drive as well but i do have to buy that that costs five thousand and it's already unlocked all right mate is it is it worth be yeah definitely uh well for me it is just don't care for me it's definitely worth it definitely definitely worth it i'm really enjoying it at the moment it's a lot of fun um we've just uh changed a few things in the game Um. We've just changed the colour of our car. 
etc we've cleaned it and washed it all ready to go back out again and we've had a rest as well is that a toyota corolla yeah they're all oh it is night time it is night time that's cool so we'll see how it performs at night time eh, guys mm. start driving turn on the engine all right so we've got to figure out now how to turn our lights on which is like this uh, so we're gonna have highlights on like so come on turn on why are they not turning on are they on is that on is that is that supposed to be on must be right let's reverse up and uh we'll start taking some jobs on again eh that really don't doesn't look on does it compared to everybody else's i'll tell you what we'll do there we go that's better that's a lot better isn't it right so let's pick a job eh we need to pick a job um do, 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 do. there's someone just down here philip david so we'll go pick him up and we've got to go all the way down the road and turn around though which is a bit of a nuisance like i said we get to do a little bit of nighttime driving um let's just change our view so we can get out of this situation that we're in here it looks like we can just skip across the road there i think all right so breaking a few traffic rules there there we go right we're off again we are off but yeah that is cruise control uh lb and hit left on the d-pad as you can see down on the right hand side now i've got a little green uh, light come up which is showing the cruise control sign press b to turn brake off quickly oh i'm gonna minute, there's been a breakdown here been an accident oh i like that that's cool random accidents happening around the city as we're driving around that's pretty nifty i guess customer conversations will start repeating not a yeah i, I thought that myself when i first saw it sort of showcased how often is that going to uh, get repeated how much do you earn per client kind of a few hundred depending on the length of the job depending on the length of the job the traffic lights in this inter intersection in front of you are not working properly we've got to uh, take it easy around here because the traffic lights aren't working properly let's take it steady just in case we're gonna head around here because we've got to turn around to go pick our client up we go, well, why is that on there why is me sat nav on well that's a bit uh it's a bit rubbish isn't it seems like it's stuck in reverse on that camera thing very quick then weren't we i'm gonna stick to this view for now uh what's your initial thoughts i'm really enjoying it philip for the time being there's a few issues what's the most i've earned in a job about 400 i think up to now about 400 dollars euros should i say about 400 euros uh, i'm playing on xbox series uh, x uh, lifestyles where am i going here down here and then left nice well thank you very much for joining me everybody i really do appreciate it if you could do one thing for me today whilst you are here on the channel just hit that like button um if you could hit that like button it would do me a massive massive thing so i really would appreciate if you do that for me all i ask if you and if you're enjoying it as well possibly consider subscribing for more simulation content on console but yeah i'm thoroughly enjoying this it's been it's been worth the wait i'm looking forward to see what comes uh with the game down the down the road no pun intended uh what sort of content they're going to add to it uh what sort of updates are going to come as well they have said there is um a road map uh, and they are currently discussing at what point to uh, to bring that out to us now what i'm going to do here 
I'm going to reverse into this. My horn's just started beeping for some random reason. These people are thinking, what the hell's going on here? Why is he beeping his horn at us? But I'm not pressing anything at all. I'm downloading it now, Lee. Can't wait. Nice one, Dub Zero. Hi. That is, that's annoying. There we go. It stopped. That's my controller, that is. That's the e-swap doing that. It wasn't the game. All right, here we go. We've got some more passengers now. Start earning some money. So you'll see here now, this is a medium job, I think. And so you'll see how much you get paid. One thing that I am wondering at the moment, it asked me to rest. Well, I rested, but I've not seen any kind of fatigue bar. I can see a fuel bar, a repair bar. We're going to go around this. Then we're going to be sat here all day otherwise, aren't we? Oh, I hope he's moving now. He's actually look at the glare off the back of that van as well. Do the car indicators work? On my car, uh, Peter. Yeah, look. Left. Right. Yeah, they all work. Hey, man, would you recommend the game? Uh, really thinking about buying it, but many simulators games feel sluggish and unpolished and hella buggy. Uh, I've been playing this now for an hour and 39 minutes, bud, uh, and I'm really enjoying my time with it. It takes a lot of getting used to. Very different from other driving games. There's a lot of controls. Um, there, I've not encountered any bugs at the moment. The bugs that I have seen-ish is a little bit of popping here and there. Nothing too bad. But yeah, definitely worth it. You scared me, Lee. I was about to call up Sony for a refund. Hey, listen, Dub Zero. I was only passing on information that was given to me from the official Discord and from the developers themselves. Um, I felt stupid this morning when I, when I went to play the game at 9 o'clock just to test, and it came on. I felt like a right tool. But, like I said, I was only passing on the information I was given. Get the suddies out. I know it's very glary, isn't it? I'm going to get it on PS5 in a few minutes. Nice one. How you doing, Dave? Good to see you. I'm watching here, pal, doing some catch-up work, so we'll be on the quiet. No worries, mate. Hope you had a good holiday, fella. Uh, thanks for the reply. Uh, keep up the good work. No, I appreciate you bobbing in. Uh, Nimi, uh, what's that? Nimi Deutron. I like the way you've slopped the letters around on that one there, uh, Nimi. Mbug, good to see you, buddy. Looks good for what it is. Love to see Ted do another. <laughs> yeah. How do? I'm doing a taxi now. Uh, thank you very much for uh, subscribing as well there, Marcin Gamola. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the stream and welcome to the channel. What is the max speed? What is that? The, the love hearts covering that up. Does it say what is the max speed? Yeah, what is the max speed on dash? Uh, well, it's a digital dial, so I can't really tell you at the moment. How can I get that reverse camera to switch off? Uh, no, it's still on. That reverse camera is stuck on. How you doing there, love? You all right? Sir, how you doing? It's a nice white linen suit you've got in there. Yeah, but while that is on there, I can't tell where I'm supposed to be going. That's like the reverse cam, you see. I can't tell where I'm going, so I've got to stick to this view for the time being. Um, is the City Drive Munich game any good? From what I've heard and what I've seen, no. I'd stay well clear of that at the moment. Uh, it's currently had a huge update as well, and it's not much better. Hashtag facts. Thanks for showcasing the developer's stream. Uh, didn't have the greatest presentation, but you can sell me on any simulator. <laughs> we'll try and sell you on um, Autobahn Police 3 then, shall we? Uh, no, I don't think so, uh, Manny. No, I don't think that's a possibility. I think if you want that kind of action, you're going to have to go and play GTA 5. Um, we're going to go round the roundabout here as well. Round here like so. Can you turn on the radio? Well, you're having a laugh, aren't you, fella? Hang on a minute, then. I mean, I, I can do this by other means, but... How do I switch it on? We've had to stop at everything now. Thanks. Hey, you're all right, brother. There you go. 
tunes for you. He was obviously bored to tears there, sat, sat in the back with his linen suit on. He wants to get in the mood, he must be going clubbing or something. The sooner I can turn this music off, the better, it's awful. You hate GTA. <laughs> I'm not, I don't mind GTA. I enjoy playing the story mode. I'm not a big fan of the online section. I'll be getting this on PC. Looks decent. Yeah, it's all right, Codex. You'll be able to play with your wheel as well, mate. Because wheel is supported on uh, on uh, PC at the moment. I'm going to be taking a left. Oh, I think I've made a few sales today, haven't I? Turn on the radio, you don't want CGD's witty. I know this is it. He was, like I said, he was getting bored of me, I think. Try using the radio menu and see if it's button you hit by mistake for backup cam to stay on. Yeah, maybe. Um, so, radio menus. Don't forget what it is. Press down, isn't it? And then we go like this emergency actions. Car radio. Turn that blue row off anyway. Additional car systems. Rear camera. Wonder if that was it. Wonder if that was it. No, it's still on. It's still on. So annoying. Ah, oh, there we are. It's gone off now. There we are. Nice one. I did Dougie. Wear CGD late night radio, lol. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe in the future. On a future episode, because I'm sure there's going to be lots of content about this. Uh, coming on the channel Definitely be doing some uh, some videos about this Coming up. I will be streaming it again later on today around about six o'clock UK time uh, So keep an eye out for that. What's this ahead of me here? Have I come to the edge of the map or something here or what? Oh no, this is our drop-off point But there that does look like the edge of the map over there Right, we're good. what we're going to do here now, we're going to try and parallel park into this spot. We are. There we go, look at this. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. This is driving with Fine. style. Oh, yeah, Alexander, definitely. For 35 quid, it's definitely worth it. The developer needs to start paying you. <laughs> I wish. I didn't even get asked to uh, to stream it for them, which but is one of those things, isn't it? So those people there asking how much you get paid. So there you go. That was a medium job. Uh, and as in length, difficulty was normal. And I got paid €429 Euros and I got a $42 tip. So I earned €472 Euros on there. But thank you very much for subscribing, Mystic Dave and RF Live. Very much appreciated. I really do appreciate that. Right, so we're going to go back. Right, so we need another passenger. There's one just down there. Said this is the nuisance bit of this controller. Switching out. I'd like a long job. That's what she said. Uh, interesting piece of street art. That's another medium job. Be good if these passengers were colour coded, wouldn't it? The black seems to be short. Green seems to be medium. Oh no, because that's green and that's short as well. That's a short job. Let's see. Actually, I've had an idea. Let's go for a nice long drive, shall we? Oh, difficulty, hard, length, medium. Worth 738 euros. It's, a, it's an age away as well to get to. We're going to go for a nice long drive now, ladies and gentlemen. It would be. Let's have a read of the chat. Uh, I wonder how that works with folk who stream music to their game. In what way, Donald? Uh, Joey Pet Gamer, morning. What did I miss? Lots of taxi driving, Joey. That's what you've missed. It would be cool if a dev joined chat. That would be nice. I like the music. I think I'll go buy a white linen suit. <laughs> i got to go. It's 5.46 in the morning for me, and I need some coffee. No worry, Dubs. Thanks for joining, mate. How much we'll get for this one? About 750 euros, Alexis. That needs replaced with roadworks or a broken bridge. Anything except that big bloody thing. Yeah, it looks a bit awful, doesn't it? Thank you very much for the sub there, Nimi, as well. 
Much appreciated, buddy. Right, so we've got a nice long drive ahead of us. It's 4.3 kilometres to pick this passenger up. Now, bearing in mind, we are up there and we're going all the way down to the bottom of the map as well. So that kind of gives you a rough idea of what we're looking at in map size. But we'll see how long it takes us to get there. That's the big thing, isn't it? And obviously, I'm not going to drive it like an idiot either. I'm not going to, you know, drive around like Colin McRae. To take it nice and steady, as you would in real life. I've just put cruise control on. Got a green light here. We've got a bit of a roundabout situation ahead. I can't see where I'm going here. What is going on? Yeah, that I would get rid of those signs as well. They look awful, don't they? I don't like them at all. Whoa! Good lord! Those bollards popped out of the out of nowhere, didn't they? Bit closer to the Mercedes car and van. You need 35k for both. Wow. Say so we'll uh, put the cruise control back on. What time of day is it now? Just looking out. Oh, 11:29 at night. It is. We've got another green light. Lights have been uh, kind to us, which is good. A funny feeling I should be over there on the right hand side. I'm going to scoot over there. There we go. Handbrake on. Good morning, Carl Button. Good to see you, mate. Hope you're well, buddy. Hope you're having a good Thursday. I've not had any passengers yet. You know, these uh, get there as fast as you can uh, passengers. I've not had uh, any of them yet. They are in the game as well, which for me, I wasn't really impressed. Woo, 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 woo. That was close. Handbrake on. Oh, I've just turned my lights off. No, I've just turned the car off. How have I managed that? Oh, you two will There we go. I was trying to remember how I um, look forward. I can't remember. That's it, isn't it? Like that. What are the lights doing now? Are they on red? They're on red. Complete and utter ballards, mate. Indeed, Mystic. Have these lights changed or what? Oh, do you know what? I'm going through them. I'm not sitting there all night. I've got work to be doing. There's so many button configurations to remember. That's the problem at the moment. And I'm interested to see how this would work. Uh, with controller support and I'm wondering why that was the delay because there's that many configurations um, you know for the radial menus and accessing all the different buttons I wonder why that's why they're struggling with uh, wheel support how about New York Taxi Sim on Friday Night Taxi as DLC there that'd be cool that'd be cool wouldn't it This is a pain in the arse that I've got to do this to have a look to see if the lights have changed, but... And brakes on. That's why you can hear all that noise. We'll uh, scoot down here now. Only 2.7 kilometres till we get to uh, our passenger. Hopefully they're nice... Well, they are nice and patient. The uh, bar's still quite full at the moment. For those that have just joined us, if you look at the sat-nav on the dashboard, there's an orange bar across the bottom. That's the patience meter. Um, and that's how long, pretty much, your uh, your client is going to wait for you to get to them and pick them up. So the more full that is, the more happier and content they're going to be when you pick them up. So you've got to get there as quick as you can, but as safely as you can as well, because you don't want to be doing any damage to your vehicle, because that's going to cost you money. Excuse me. I am desperate for a drink. I might have to go and get a coffee in a minute, guys. Uh, lifestyle, not on console at the moment, mate. Um, you can on PC, but not on console. As I was just saying, there is no wheel support at the moment for console, and I think I can see why. Um, it hasn't been applied yet because there's that many configurations of buttons 
uh, that you've got to do on the controller to access all the different functions of the vehicle. How you would do that with just a steering wheel and a controller at the same time, I don't know. Because there's a lot of press, press LB and up and LB and down and LB and push forward to do different things. And how you would do that using a steering wheel, I don't know. If you think about it, if you're using a PC, you've got your keyboard, haven't you? Uh, to reach across to and use some of the different functions. You can't do that on uh, on console. Unless you're, multi, you know, ambidextrous. Well, not ambidextrous. Uh, can't you do all of them with the buttons? In Yeah, you can. Once again, you can look down and do that. But once again, you'd be using a wheel on console. So how would, how would you look down apart from reaching across and using your thumbstick on your controller that's the only possible way you could do it and then you've got to click a button as well you see what i'm getting at and i think that is where the struggling i do right we're taking a left the lights just changed at the last minute. Are they changing or are they saying I can go or what? I don't know. Going around here. Taking a left. I'll tell you what, it looks nice at night though, doesn't it? It's, you know, it's nicely lit, the city. I'll give it that. Definitely nicely lit. Well impressed. A swing a left. Whoa, 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 whoa. See him then just stepping out. That was a close one. Flip. Sorry. I think I think we just about got away with that then. I think we just got about with that. You can't drive and look down at the same time because then you cause an accident. Yeah, well, there's that, yes. And I think that's why they put the radial menus in. Because when you press uh, for the radial menus, everything slows down in front of you while you select what you want to select. You press down on the D-pad. Um, so that's quite that's quite cool that they've done that. The uh, game gives me... Oh, crap. What does that say? Gives me vibes of the film Collateral. <laughs> really? Right, we're nearly at our... Uh, our passenger now so remember this is a medium task but uh, hard difficulty so i'm going to be interested to see what why it's going to be a hard difficulty if it pop in corner the traffic light's not working properly some of them aren't working uh, properly uh, I've noticed as I've been driving around, it did say that these lights aren't working correctly. We're not turning right there, so why I'm indicating, I don't know. We've seen uh, we've seen an accident in the road at the moment as well. Was, oh, that's the second time I've done that, driving too close. Don't leave any details, we're just going. We're just going to leave. Looks like we've got another hidden object over here as well on the right-hand side. We'll try and pick that up. Let's just stop here. Um, let's go to this view. Something around here that I can pick up on. Where is it? There's a question mark there. I can't see what it's for. Ah, well. Not to worry. Uh, we'll crack on. We've got a passenger to pick up. The patience bar is getting lower. And we've got a red light as well. Perfect. So we'll pull up, put the handbrake on, press LB and push forward. You can see the lights. It pop in corner. Traffic lights not working properly. I don't understand what you mean there, Doug. Straight into more lights. No, it was right there at the cut. I didn't see it, Hero. I'll pick it up another time. I'll pick it up another time. No problem. There's another one over here on the right-hand side. Another collectible. See if we can spot that one. 
Passengers just here on the left as well. Here's the collectible here on the right hand side. Let's stick our handbrake on. See if we can see anything. Let's pop our head out this way. What are we looking for here? Was it on the I can't see anything. What I'm supposed to be uh, collecting, can you guys? Anybody see anything? It usually comes up with a prompt to um, do press and hold A. Let's uh, back her up a bit. Nope, still can't see anything. Oh, well, right, let's go pick our passenger up. Messing, messing around here. There we go. Right, let's see how this works out. Maybe the other side of the building. Possibly, buddy. Yeah, possibly. Right. Let's crack on. Pedestrian air crossing the road. Two oh, pedestrians. Remove this awful bug from the window. Right, so this guy is complaining that there's a bug on the window. We can do that quickly. Pressing that. There we go. I'm turning it off again. Blended stuff. Right, we'll crack on. Are you happy now? Whinging about a bug on the window. Good lord, man. Right, so this task now is another 4.3 kilometres. Back the other way, probably. And uh, it's supposed to be hard difficulty, so... I'm wondering what that entails. And why it's... Uh, why it's a hard difficulty. It's a medium length job. It's going to pay well, this one, from all accounts. About 700 euros. We'll see what happens, eh? And why it's any different from any other. And why it's so difficult. A quick check of my mirrors. See, I'm getting there now with the controls. Learning what to press. And See, if you take it nice and steady and don't race around like an absolute maniac. It's an absolute joy to play. And it's just getting used to all the, like I said, the different configurations of buttons, how to look around. Look around your cab, look out the windows, look at your mirrors. Would be nice to see uh, custom repaints people uh, can make for this game and custom logos. For example, my logo on the cars. Yeah, that would be great. But what you'll notice on um, on console, there isn't an awful lot of that. And I think it all comes down to licensing on console. Uh, so people don't go making, I don't know, Coca-Cola logos and things like that. It's, it's it's a weird thing on consoles. And sort of offensive content as well, I think it comes down to. Which I know is a bit petty, but it is what it is. The PC, you, it could happen. It could happen. But they've always spoke, haven't they, about they're not going to be modding the game. I've just noticed as well, I've got my main beam on. I've got main beam on. There we go. Now I've just got my dip lights on. I'm good to go. Bloody hell, the traffic lights in this place, man. It's crazy. There we are. 30 kilometres an hour now. Nice and steady throughout the city. Taking it easy. Nice chilled out Friday night here now. A lot easier to drive, isn't it? If you just travel at a normal law-abiding speed imagine this just driving around like this all the time and a little bit boring let's speed it up a touch eh? I think uh, 40 is about right oh I've just missed me turning not to worry oh no we sorry yeah I know I'm a knobhead am I going down a one way here I've got a funny feeling I am I'm going to take a right here Completely balls up there, didn't we? Completely balls up. What do you think to the sounds of the actual car itself, guys? What's your thoughts on that? Bottom line is, people can't be trusted with these editors, yeah. And they will inevitably offend someone, bummer. This is it, Dave, and I think that's where it comes down to. 
I think they have it on Tracing World 4, don't they? They have an editor on there that you can use. But I've got a funny feeling that goes through some kind of screening process uh, before it gets published onto the actual store for the general public to download and use. Uh, so I think they check it for, for, for that reason, for offensive content or copyright content. It doesn't, uh, unfortunately, no, it doesn't have a, uh, a performance mode. The car sounds good for me. I love it. Yeah. I was thinking the same. It does sound all right, doesn't it? And when I was watching the developers uh, stream and create content for the game in the build-up to the release, I, I wasn't sure. I thought, oh, that sounded a little bit tinny. Uh, interior car sound seems realistic. Has that vibe to it. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, bud? It does, yeah. Hey, pal, I'm about to buy this on console, but performance was so bad on my mate's early copy. How's it feeling now on release day? Uh, what you're buying it on? Is that Krayug? What uh, what platform? Uh, I'm currently on the Xbox Series X. We've we've hardly skipped a beat. We've had a couple of frame rate issues. A couple. Uh, and that's in two hours of streaming. Apart from that, it's been great. PS5... Um, I've heard that there's been a, a couple as well, a couple of frame rate issues. Uh, but most of them, for me, came during the tutorial section and when we just entered the city. So, um, it could be that. It's sort of the game, you know, bedded in, so to speak. Is there still a delay, Daryl? Uh, not for console, bud, but it seems to be that way for PC. Do you recommend do the tu Yes, definitely do the tutorial. It'll teach you um, all the different button combinations that you need to use to access your different uh, instruments for the vehicle. Definitely give, give it a go. It takes about 10, 15 minutes. JC says he's got it and it's good. Thanks for joining us, buddy. And you, Craig. Thanks for joining us in today's live stream. Much appreciated, guys. If you could, uh, before, you, before you leave, hit that like button. It'll be very much appreciated. Is the game... What's that? Sorry. Is the game locked at 30 frames a second? I am the worst person in the world to ask about frames per second. Because my eyes are that bad, I can't tell a bloody difference. Captain Goofy, how is the traffic density? Don't see... No, it's because at the moment, Goofy, it is currently 20 past 1 in the morning in-game. What's the sat-nav like? GTA mode. It's great. Uh, it's keeping up with me. I've took a couple of wrong turnings and it's corrected itself uh, within seconds, so pretty good. I got PlayStation 5, but I thought I couldn't play until 5 p.m. Same here, buddy. Same here. I was thinking exactly the same, but I sat here at 9 o'clock. I just finished editing a video and I thought, you know what? I'll give it a go. Let's see if it loads up. It's not going to load up. So I pressed it and it worked. So I was dead chuffed. For me, uh, Dayan, if I was going to say, it, it does feel a nice smooth 60 for me. But, like I said, I can't, unless a game's really chugging, I can't tell a difference. Right, I'm off for a brew. We'll watch the rest of this later. No worries, the Mystic Dave. I appreciate it, mate. Make us one, mate. I could murder a coffee right now. I could murder a brew. Uh, Timothy, compatibly with G920 on Xbox. No, I'm afraid not at the moment, Timothy. We were just talking about that. Um, after playing the game for two hours now, I can understand why there's no support at the moment. There's, oh, hang on a minute. What's going on here? Uh, there's lots of different button combinations to use. Right, it's, it's like, should, we, should we do a bit of rubbernecking and see what's going on? Oh, look at the state of this here. Oh, he, he's not happy there, on Bonnet. Look, he's, he's got his head in his hands. He's in. He's either that. He's pissed off, or he's in pain. Talking to the police there, trying to blame each other. Oh, it's all going off. It's all going off. Can you create a second profile and do and only a tutorial there? Um, I don't know because I've not been back to the home screen since I've started. Have you? I've got this, but not uh, played it yet. Looks good. Yeah, it's great, uh, Mark. Really, I'm enjoying myself. I'm really enjoying myself. It's just nice and chill, just... 
bobbing around Barcelona, picking passengers up. Seen different sites like that, like crashes and different instances going on around the city. Thank you very much for subscribing there, Philid. Much appreciated, bud. Is it worth getting now on console or wait for more? Definitely worth getting now. There's nothing wrong with it. Like I said, I've had a couple of instances of a frame rate drop. But uh, there's guys that have been in here from the beginning of the stream. They'll definitely tell you how well it's performed. Uh, what you guys reckon is a better buy? This or Police Simulator? This every single time. I got a hang of it though, but it's a perfect taxi game. I wish it was a bigger map. But like I said before, I've been playing it two hours now. I've not really noticed if I've been to a certain location on the same occasion. If I've been there once or twice. I'm sure as time passes... Um, I'll think, yeah, I've been here a couple of times now. I've been here a few times. I recognise this place. And as you do with GTA, when you play GTA, if you play GTA, you get to learn the map. You get to learn any map, don't you? And it might get bigger along with other updates. Yes, you're right there, Jay-Z. Uh, Jack Death is back, everybody. Welcome back, buddy. Dewey 21, it looks like GTA 3 graphics. That's a bit extreme. No, I, I was actually playing uh, GTA 4 the other day uh, on the Xbox Series X and how much that has dated and it, this looks nothing like that. This is a lot better. I'm impressed with it, Dewey. If you make a traffic rule like speeding, running a red light, will the police chase? No, they won't chase, you know. You just get fined. You just get fined. Right, so for this, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head in this uh, view. And I'm going to do a little bit of parallel parking. Let's see if we can get that uh, reverse camera to come up. The reverse camera going to come up, or do we have to do that? Yes, we do. All right, so let's have a go at this. All right, oh, it's gone off now. There we go. All right, here we go. There we go. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. Doing it with the reverse camera on. And he did it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, it's, like I said, um, I don't know why that was hard, by the way. Uh, it's the middle of the night. It's two o'clock in the morning, hence no traffic at the moment. Uh, would be better if they chased you more real. Ooh, that's a nice feature. Yeah, it's good, isn't it, Jack? I think you get fined directly, but only if police is nearby. Is that right? Can you upgrade the taxi? Yes, you can, Carl. Um, earlier on in the stream, we went back to a garage and had a look at all the different upgrades. We've um, What I've done since the beginning of the stream, I've changed the colour of the taxi to a, to a more traditional yellow and black. It was white at the beginning. I've put new rims on it. I have as well. Uh, and that's it for the moment. You can upgrade the engine, the brakes... Um, this is on all the vehicles, the engine, the brakes, what else can you do, guys? Uh, exhaust system. You're definitely going to oh, I'll look forward to your videos then, Jack. Thank you very much for subscribing, Ramon Van Tam Tamalen. Very much appreciated. Right, there's a client just over the road, I think. There's somebody waiting or on this side of the road. I can't quite tell at the moment. So we'll put the map on. In fact, there's a few people up the road as well. Would you guys currently in the chat yes you can change the taxi sign i'll go to the garage and show you guys again who haven't seen it yet um all the customization options i know for those that have been here a while you've already seen it but obviously people are coming and going all the time so we'll head over to the garage and i'll show you what you can customize and what you can't etc uh, paint colors and all that kind of jazz all the different types of vehicles that are in it so we'll go and have a look at that. It'll only take us a second to get there. It's not too far at all. We'll drive over there a bit like a madman. I've, I've gone back to the thumbstick. No! <laughs> Where's it sending me? The sat-nav's gone off on one, I think. It looks like... Well, this is a one-way. Yeah, you can see no right to... Yeah, I'm going to go down here anyway. Balls to it. Heading down a one-way... Uh, traffic street here but not to worry right so this is the garage 
Let's head in here. Got to be spot on in this as well, for some reason. Not like when you pick passengers up. Right, there we go. Right, so this is the garage. Uh, if I played it to today, it's a nice game. It's a beauty. I'm enjoying it, Ramon. It's a very good. You know me, I'm always a professional driver indeed. Can you interact with objects? What do you mean by that, uh, Hero Gamer? Oh, knock over a bin. Right, I'll give that a go in a minute. Right, so in the garage, we can uh, maintain our vehicle so we can fuel it up, like so. So we'll fuel our vehicle up. We can uh, do maintenance on it, and we can clean it up as well. And then this one down here is uh, repair some of the bodywork. So somewhere around here, we've got some damage to our vehicle. So there, we've repaired that. Uh, these are the different cars that we've got at the moment. I've got that car there. Uh, there's like a little Skoda Yeti there. Uh, what looks like a, a Toyota Prius there as well. The vintage car that you get that free if you buy within the first week. Uh, there's that one as well, which is like um, a thingy-majiggy car. I forget what they're called now. Uh, we've got that one as well. That one, which is like a Mercedes, and the minivan, which I want to unlock that one. I really want to get that one. And it looks like as well we can have up to 15 vehicles as well, which is pretty nice. Um, as I said before, we can change the engine, upgrade the engine to a faster engine, brakes, tyres and gearbox. Uh, you can customise the outside of the car with uh, you've got all your different colours, like so. Uh, I've got a lot of these through pre-ordering the... Uh, the supporters edition so if you haven't got the supporters edition you won't see a lot of these colors in your uh, in your menus uh, you can have leds under the car as well uh, you can change your taxi sign just as someone asked earlier as well uh, you can have uh, a spoiler on the back of your taxi if uh, if that's your if that's your jam and you can change your alloys as well underneath a lot of these are currently locked so we currently own those ones. Um, boo, 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 what else have we got in here? I think that's it for now. Yeah. Uh, while you're in your garage, uh, you can... Oh, actually, no. <clears throat> you can customise your dash and your upholstery as well. So if you click on there, you can change the colour of your all your upholstery. You have a nice tan and brown colour there, but I think we'll just stick with that one for, for the time being. Pretty rough. Uh, you can change your gear knob, if that fancies, if that takes your fancy as well. You can change that, which is a nice uh, little plus. And then as well, you can have dashboard items as well, which I'm sure we picked the dog earlier on. And yeah, we're going to set that as active, so that's active now. So yeah, there we go. That is all of the uh, features that you can do to customise your vehicles. So what we're going to do now, we're going to rest for a few hours because it's uh, it's still night time out there. So we'll rest until it's daytime. It's now six minutes past seven in the morning. You have to click on the rims to set them as on your car. I've not done that, have I? No. But not to worry. There's a cat, lol. Yes, indeed, there's a cat. Right. So we'll pick up another passenger. Well, this guy here. So this is a short job. I don't fancy doing that one, actually. Let's do this one. Let's do a nice normal job. Right, we'll go and pick up our passenger. So there we go. LB and up to start the vehicle. And uh, Hero Gamer wanted me to bop, bop into a bin, didn't you? To see if we can uh, knock it over. Well, let's see if we can find a bin or something like that we can try and knock over. Well, let's see if we can knock over a scooter. Well, we can, we can certainly move it. We can certainly move it. So, yeah, th there is a slight interaction there with objects. What's this here? That looks like... No, that doesn't move. But that is bolted to the ground, so... Yeah, he's a little bobblehead, isn't it? But it is moving, yeah, that's cool. E right... Off we go. Uh, we're going to be turning left down here. Just checking my mirrors now. Make sure no one's coming up on the inside of me. There we go. Off to pick our passenger up. 
pulling 0.64 kilometers away. There we go. Does anybody want the radio on? Has anybody not heard the radio yet? Would you want to listen to the radio? By any chance? I'll put the radio on for a bit, go through the selection of the radio music that they've got. Um, can you show the job... Hang on a second. Can you show the job where you ignore all traffic rules? Is that something that I select manually? Because I've not come across a client that has asked me to do that yet. I've just noticed here on the right side of the GPS there's a client who's red and then one that's green. I've not noticed any difference yet of what the what the differences are in the different colours of the clients uh, on the map. If anybody could tell me that, that would be uh, a massive help in selecting uh, future jobs. Ooh, that was uh, a bit tight going round there then, wasn't it? You see, as now the traffic, it's five past seven in the morning. This is what you would call rush hour, I suppose, in Barcelona. I've just missed my turning. So the traffic is a little bit busier now. As it according to what it was uh, earlier on when it was uh, night time. Hard difficulty, is it, Alexis? Right. Got you, mate. So red's difficult. Green's medium. I take No, yellow's medium. So very similar into the way that um, Truck Driver the American Dream works then and uh, Truck and Logistics. Completely missed my turning, didn't I, there? I'm going to swing a left down here. Whoa! Well, nearly ran old tracksuit over there. Yeah, more AI. There you go, you see, Hero Gamer. Like I said, it's... The game reacts to the different time of day. But obviously, if you're driving in the middle of the night at 20 past 1 in the morning, there's not going to be much traffic about. But if you're driving around in the day at peak times, you're going to see more AI traffic. Somebody wanted to hear the radio. I'll put that on for a bit. You can change the station as well. You can do that uh, via the radial menu there you go bit of a groovy radio baby that's what it says that's not me just being an embarrassing 40 year old there's that on the radio you see gravy gro gravy city radio groovy city radio Yeah, there's uh, a few stations you can flick through. It's not really my cup of tea, if I'm honest. So I don't think it's something that I'll, uh, I'll be using all the time. Yeah, we've had a few instances, uh, Hero Gamer, of them smashing into the back of me. Uh, at the beginning of the game. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. There we go. No. There we go. Can this game be played with the wheel? Currently, because of gaming on a uh, console, no, that music is getting right on my nerves. Turn that noise off. Uh, I'm guessing it's like Crazy Taxi. The colour of the pickup could be the... Yeah, that's right, Benjamin. Uh, does this game support the Thrustmaster T128 for Xbox? Currently, no, no, it doesn't, Powell. Uh, Lee, do you know how quick... Very long, Jack. Very long. I've literally been skipping on when I'm going to the garages. I've not seen it change yet. I've not seen what it looks like day to night and night and day. I just don't know. It is one of the modes. The client wants you to drive fast and ignore all traffic rules. You don't have to pay the fines. The client will take care of that. Maybe it's someone that I just randomly pick up a Lexus. I want this channel deleted like you said you would yesterday if you were wrong about the delay. <laughs> Do you really want me to delete my channel, Snake? Do you really want me to delete it? I think AI that are a little unpredictable adds to the fun. Yeah, certainly, Hero Gamer. How do you know what the speed limits are? I keep getting tickets. Generally, and Snake won't agree with me here, um, I, I try to take it quite easy around the city. It would be nice if it told you on your sat-nav, wouldn't it, what the speed limit was for the different areas. I have been keeping my eye out as well for, uh, for street signs that tell you the different speeds but i've not seen anything yet well it's tough snake i'm not 
Um, AI will make mistakes on purpose. Oh, Christ, I nearly ran Ali G over then. Good Lord. That was close. I was looking down at the chat. Who would you torment, Snake, if I deleted my channel? Speed limit is 50 kilometers an hour. Ah, that's good to know then. Like I said, I tend to keep it under that anyway and just st stick cruise control on. Business type lady crossing the road in front of me there. Wait, a solid simulator game. Graphics looks great. A decent price. Indeed, Richard. We've been having a lot of fun with this this morning. A lot of fun. Another red light coming up now. There we go. We press LB and back. We can have a look at our passengers there like that. They both look frightened to death in the back there, don't they? We've got a car here on our left-hand side as well. Only 1.7 kilometres to go. We've not really had massive jobs of, as of yet either. Um, they've been fairly average. You know, they've not taken us too long. I think the longest job we've done has took us about 10 minutes max. What would happen if you hit a pedestrian? Someone said you get fined heavily. It's five hours for the release on PC. Not long to go now, fella. Not long to go. Right, let's... I'm up, ah, there we go. Look, graffiti number nine. So, pressing the whole day, we've collected another graffiti there. So there you go. I told you it came up with a prompt, didn't I? I thought it did. Look at this fool just cut it up in front of me like that. Struggled a bit there then as I changed the camera view. I'm going to get into this lane here. Ready to turn uh, left. Do you know what's uh, worth seeing in Barcelona? Jesus Christ. Uh, let, let's be arrogant, shall I we? I don't do tourist recommendations. Let's be arrogant. I was just hoping for some advice from a local. Um, rough. I'm not a tour guide. You can figure it out yourself. Okay. N no need to be rude. Uh, what is better, driving first? I'm enjoying both Alexis. Lol, those guys are parked. They're not parked, are they? Is that parked? You've got the lights on. Look, you've got lights on. All the cops, he hit you. <laughs> More damage. Completely missed that, uh, that conversation there, then. These AI have, have stuck, haven't they? Um, it's good for different situations, uh, the different camera views. Uh, I've been doing a mix of both during today's live stream. I've learned as well, well this is what I'm saying about doing the tutorial. Um, and you can use press LB and then press left or right for quick views and you can lean forward, you see. Oh Christ. Christ on a bike. But I think we're going to be going back to the garage, guys. <laughs> i tell you what is a shame as well. Thanks for subscribing there, you sad. Um, when we have accidents, the clients don't react in any way at all. In any way at all. It's definitely worth getting uh, serious. Definitely. Yeah, I've, I'm really enjoying myself on this this morning. It's a lot of fun. Like I said, 35 quid. It's a solid game. It's come out with hardly any bugs. There's been the odd frame rate issue here and there where it's, it's just struggled a couple of times but nothing that's that's broke the game no problem Dean no problem mate this is what I was saying before here I, I'm going to keep it now uh, I'm not going to rest or advance the time any because uh, we've started in the morning now and it was half past 7 when we started it's now 8.19 um, so it looks like you get a good length uh, amount of daylight within the game as you're playing it and I would like to see the transition as well of day to night and night to day and to see how well that looks as of yet we've not seen a change in weather either we've still not seen a change in weather Hell. you've been enjoying it have you you sad that's good to hear my friend well worth the £35 isn't it 
or forty pounds if you've picked up the supporters edition. It's definitely worth it. It really is worth it. But uh, as someone said earlier, was it Richard? Richard Bork. Uh, it's great to see a game come out on console, a simulation game come out on console that is solid and is working as it as it was intended to work as well. And you can see yesterday and why they put the delays in place. Uh, because they wanted it to come out, they didn't want it to come out and then for all of us to jump on the Discord or or social media. They let me through. Let me through. Nice of them. Um, so it is good for that, I suppose. I can see the chat flicking up. I live in the USA, I got the supporters edition. Nice one, buddy. How long takes a trip? It depends on which type of trip you pick up. Um, there's long, sh uh, sorry, short, medium and long jobs. Uh, this one that we're doing now is currently a medium job and we've been at it for about five or six minutes now, I'd say. So, yeah. But once you've dropped one off, uh, you get the option of picking another one up straight away, as I'll show you now. We're about to drop this passenger off. We're going to swing in here. Like so. And uh, we'll back up. There we go. So it'll give you all your details of how you've done. So you get all that on the left. And the bottom right hand side there now is that you can take that task. You can pick another job straight away. It's just a random task. Like him out of uh, uh, Austin Powers. Uh, Bus Simulator 21 is also a very cool game. Yeah, I enjoyed that one, Dayan. You might not get a trip, lol. A tip. I, did, I didn't get a tip that time. I think it was due to the amount of crashes medium five minutes that's that's not long no but if you think well if you're in a major city your taxi trips don't take that long anyway you're nipping from one side to the other aren't you and it takes five or ten minutes uh the bus is better than i've not really played the bus the bus that much So as well, you can press Y for bonus details. So there we go. We did get marked down for small collisions. But we didn't have any big collisions, which is good. Right, so we're going to take this task down there so we can just carry on uh, with our work. We've got cars on our left-hand side, so we'll just check our mirror as we pull out. Turn the indicator off. But yeah, I think this is a really capable simulator. It's looking really nice. This is a new record, Lee. Most I've seen on your channel. Nice work. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with everybody that's popped in today. I really do appreciate it. As Farah says, we generally get between sort of 20 and 30 people in on a live stream. So to have this many people in at once is... Uh, it's blown my mind. So I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you very much, everybody. Right, I'm going to do something very naughty now. Let's see if we can get away with this. There we go. <laughs> there we go. You see taxi drivers doing naughty stuff like that all the time. I think the main selections limit how long a job can be. I hope Hello. they open the home. Hello. Let's have a look at you. Oh, there's two of you. Oh, you. He looks like that bloke out of Ratatouille, doesn't he? The critic. He does. We've got him in the back. We've got a celebrity in, everybody. We've got a celebrity in. Thank you very much, Richard. Show full map. No problem. Right, I'll show you the full map. Hang on a minute, because I need to take my little wheel off and uh, do this. Right, there you go. So this is the full map. It starts off, I'll try to scroll down. So it's all the way down there, and then all the way up there. It takes a long time, and that's it. So, but, but you can see here as well, there's all this sort of silhouetted uh, areas. They could extend. They could extend. It won't let me interact with people. It it does it random, Dylan. It does it randomly, mate. Um. So yeah, it just happens every now and again. Right, shall we uh, crack on with these clients? Can you get points on your license with the speed cameras? I think it's just fines, Sam. I think it's just fines. For the time being. That may come in future, you know, updates. I don't know. 
What are these traffic cones actually? What are those? We've not looked at those, have we? What are traffic cones? Oh, they're interesting pieces of architecture, which I suppose we'll have to uh, to collect as well. And these wine glasses, what are those? Active. Oh, that's where we're heading to, I think. That's our destination. Um, one second, guys. Sorry, just chatting to the wife. I need uh, I need to bob off in about half an hour because my son's forgot his school lunch. I'm going to have to take it to him. I was planning at finishing at 12 anyway. I hope they support it with new cars. I'm sure they will, Sirius. I'm sure they will. What's the black guy on the map? Um, the black guy on the map. Um, do, 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 do. It's just another job. Uh, easy. Difficulty easy. Length medium. So this is what I was getting at because... Difficulty normal for green. So black must be easy. Green must be normal. Uh, where's... See, we can find a red person. Is there a red person? Can't see a red person anymore. It's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? But black must be... Um, yeah, black must be easy. Let's find another black one. Easy, yeah. So that must be the case. Black is easy, green is medium, and red is hard. Thank you very much for the 99 there, Dylan West. Very much appreciated, mate. Hey, does the game support Logitech G923 on Xbox? No, at the moment, JJ, it doesn't, I'm afraid. Only PC at the moment. I'm going to buy this game in the near future. Hooked. Well, I will we'll be streaming it later on today as well at 6pm. In about six and a half hours, let's take our handbrake off. So if you want to bob back then... Uh, you are more than welcome uh, to come and join me then as well. I'll be doing another couple of hours of gameplay back then at 6 o'clock. I'll say I'll be streaming now for about another 25 minutes. Uh, and I've got a few things to do. IRL, if you know what I mean. So, uh, I'm sorry about that. But I have been going for two and a half hours now. I'm sure there'll be other people out there on YouTube land streaming the game today. So uh, go and give them guys a views as well. I think there's a guy currently, um, Fat Cat Caravan. If you give him a search, I think he's uh, streaming it on the PlayStation 5. You can go over there if you've got a PS5 and go give him a look. Uh, I'll do a speed test with the car to see what the max is. <laughs> I like to play. I, like, I don't like to mess around on my simulation games. I do every now and again. I'll do something stupid, uh, especially in the multiplayer ones, like on truck and logistics. Do silly things on there, um, but not when I'm playing stuff like this. How's the driving, mate? Is it realistic? Is there a sense? Of, yeah, definitely. Sa, definitely, definitely a sense of speed. I'm going to buy this game. How does it support? Is the driving realistic, mate? Is there a sense of speed? I think I've just answered that because you asked me twice. And I know why you did that, because I, I missed your first message, so I do apologise. But yeah, there's definitely a sense of speed. It's realistic. Um, I'm, I'm just enjoying it. It's a really nice game to play. But SA, I've answered it. I just answered it, and I explained I missed your first message. There's no need to swear. And if you're going to be like that, mate, it's quite easily just to boot you like that, mate. There's no need for that at all. It's a very busy chat. I'm going to miss people. There's absolutely no need for that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to be told to F off in my own chat. Be gone. Is the traffic des density good? Oh dear, we've just done some damage to him. Uh, yes, it changes at different times of the day, Elias. Um, so if you're driving in the middle of the night, the traffic get, it does go down. Uh, you don't see as many cars on the road. Um, anyone on Series S know what the performance is like? I think I do have a couple of viewers uh, who use a Series S, so I don't know if they're in the chat at the moment who will be able to answer that for you. 
Oh, why is it so expensive if it doesn't support the wheel? Should be cheaper. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of arguments and a lot of chatter going around at the moment about the price and because it doesn't support wheel. I was explaining earlier on that I was a little confused why they didn't support wheel on console and after playing it, I think I know why. Uh, because there are so many different button configurations um, to activate all the different bits and bobs of the car. I think that's why, and I think they might be trying to work a way around that. With PC, you've got the keyboard. Uh, you've got the keyboard that you can access all your different functions. Where with the steering wheel, you've got your hands on the wheel, and you don't really have access to your controller in a way that we use it on this game. So, so to speak, to put cruise control on, I have to press LB and left on the D-pad. So how you would do that on console while using a wheel, I don't know. So I think they're going to try and work a way around, and I think that's, that is what they are working on at the moment. Uh, no, no wheels at all at the moment on console, Timothy, as I was just explaining. I, th I think that's the reason why there's no support at the moment. When I find a long straight road with not a lot of cars, I will try it without clients, of course. <laughs> You'll have to try it in the middle of the night, Elias. You'll have to try it in the middle of the night, buddy, because that's when there's not a lot of cars around. Got it cheaper for €24.99, Euro for PC. Um, well, one second, I'll read the rest of that chat in a moment. We've got round there, there we go. You see the traffic's uh, getting a little bit chaotic now. Uh, so I have the game in my library, but can't play till after release. Won't be long, mate. There is no need to apologise for someone as uncouth as that. Yeah, it's very rare that it happens, but like I said, I'm not being told to F off in my chat by anybody. I'm so used to being put off game from first look stream. This one actually looks okay, Mike. Consider it. Thanks for the stream, by the way. No problem at all, Farry. You're always welcome, mate. You've been here from the start, mate, and there's just been an accident there. The Rosses have just smashed into uh, the car there. When did this game drop? It dropped at 9 o'clock this morning, Anthony Lawrence. Own both consoles. Which version is best? I will investigate. Yeah, I can't give you an answer to that, I'm afraid. I'm playing on the Xbox Series X currently. I think developers add more according to the Barcelona map. There are blank areas of the map throughout the scale to be supplemented in the future according to the road map. Have you seen a road map, uh, Dum Dumber? Busim 21 has loads of buttons, but it has the menu options so you can quick select. Well, this also has, um, you know, all these sort of things. So if you press left on the D-pad, then you use your bumper buttons um, to scroll through. So, yeah. Like I said, I, I don't know the exact reason, but that, that was my thoughts on it. Right, we're going to try and escape this traffic here now. Oh, I've just caused a collision. That's the first time I've been fined for causing a collision. There's absolutely nothing there in front of that geezer, so why he was just there doing nothing, I don't know. That's the first time we've been fined for anything. So all the collisions that we've been in up to now have not been my fault, you see. I'll keep the very keen, but there are um, in game settings you can uh, change them. There's lots of sensitivity settings, so you can suit it to your style of uh, of play. So those options are there if they're a little bit keen for you. Sadly, they did not add feature to leave your car. No, there's no you can't go out on foot. Unfortunately, that's not an option. That is not an option. say we can do that we can uh, look around you can look around free mode as well you can access everything on the fly like so oh look map mode to next map oh look at that i didn't realize that so you can do that like that map view return to map view cruise controls on the wheel as well you can access your lights from there you can access the air conditioning uh, have the lights changed yet yes they have these people are walking in front of me is there mixed weather? Apparently so, but we've not seen any as of yet. Thanks for subscribing, Dum Dumber. Very much appreciated. Top man. We're going to just drop this client off now as well. Uh, I say a police car behind me that hit car hit you. Maybe the police have to be in the... Maybe. 
maybe someone actually did mention that earlier on didn't they that the police have to be in the vicinity for you to be um for you to be fined are we actually in here yet there we go take care is the music copyright ask this for youtube so in the developer stream he said it is copyright free but i've been told that in the past and i've been burnt We've completed at least 10 rides in Har in three hours. We've done 10 rides. That's all we've done. But we have been doing a lot of look at the map and uh, all the different functions in the game, haven't we? You get the ticket if police saw you. It's 100%. Cheers, Sir Guard. There is no mixed weather, only mixed surfaces. Wet surfaces, dev confirmed. See, I've had, yeah, that's what I thought I heard. And then I thought he heard that it, that it does rain, but I don't want to... Why would the... I don't know. Why would the floor be wet? Maybe if you have a rest, you have a rest and you come out the floor's wet, so it has been raining, and then you get spray off the road to use on your uh, use your wipers. So, best, do you know when when record is turned off? I would say so, Alexis. Yeah, record with your music off. Right, so we'll do another job. Dev said no rain. I'm sure. Hey, up. Oh, where are we going? Just driving off then kit from night rider right, so we need to get off this why would a taxi pull up on the pavement i don't get that right, so let's uh get back on the road uh, and i think what we'll do from the looks of it where our passenger is not too far away they're just over there so i think we'll just do a yui in the middle of the road like so there we go we'll indicate it over here pick up our next passenger there we go uh, support no wheel support for PR6 no no wheel support hello hello yeah uh, Jack the the mirrors I mean I've seen worse I think there's the the mirrors are the same standard as they are on truck and logistics if I was to be honest might be a mission selection I think just bought it serious black and nice one at the moment, I've not seen any um, mission selection. Uh, so if we go across to driver... Oh, I've got two skill points, everybody. Do you know, the game hasn't noticed, notified me that I do have skill points that I can use. Shall we use them? Um, so driving tourists cost one, discovering the monuments, and uh, so I don't want that. Proficiency. Using car stations, cleaning, charging takes less time. Maintenance, using car stations, refueling, cleaning is cheaper. Law obedience, one ticket per day is cancelled. Well, like that. Company, drivers cost less money. Your company has fewer expenses because of that. Well, I'm definitely going to have that one. And I'm going to have money saver as well. Let's look at our stats at the moment. So I've currently driven in three hours. Um, I've driven 40 kilometers. Average distance traveled per day, 20 kilometers. Monuments discovered one. Murals found two. Unique conversations, two. Bought cars, none. Sold cars, none. Bought parts, four. Not employed any uh, any uh, employees, employees yet. We've not fired anybody. We've completed 10 jobs. We've not cancelled any jobs. Longest job we've had up to now is 8.6 kilometers, and best tip was 88 euros. There we go, the stats are quite uh, thorough as well, which is nice. Right, are you going to play the new Tram Sim game? Yes, definitely, mate, definitely. I've been covering that on the channel. I've done a, uh, a video about it uh, not long ago. Uh, that is on the channel for you to, to check out. A bit of gameplay in a trailer, I think it is. It's not me playing it. I've not been uh, privy to any gameplay yet. Uh, they left trams in Vienna and Munich. Yeah, they did. They, they never went back to that, did they, unfortunately? Even though that is it's a nice little game, that, as well. Uh, we'll put cruise control on. And we'll cruise through Barcelona. View app works together with Dovetail now. They do, yes. Uh, I think, though, that view app and... Oh, a bit of a frame rate drop there, then, as we pass through that section. Chugged a little bit. Uh, view apps still work with Aerosoft on PC though. Please like CGD Games. Thank you very much, Hero Gamer. I appreciate that. Yeah, if you can hit that like button, ladies and gentlemen. I'm suffering a little bit of frame rate issue here, actually. 
I wonder if you guys are noticing that. Just back there, yeah, that, uh, it really struggled just through that section. Really badly. But let's actually try something, something that we've not tried yet, and I want to give it a go. Let's just look down here. No. My window been open all this time. Um, windows. Window roll up, window roll down. That down. That one's open. Which is my side. I don't understand that. What What's open here now and what isn't? Oh, so my side... Right, that, so my side is open, so there's no animation for that. Which is a bit of a shame. And I was hoping as well, when we were inside, we could hear the environment a little bit better, but that doesn't seem to, uh, to do anything. Jay, Sheriff, I know you have probably been asked this already, but what are your first impressions? I'm really enjoying it, Jay. Really, really enjoying it. It's really good. Uh, it does struggle, I'm not going to lie, playing it on PlayStation 5. Really, Jay-Z? Having a few fr fr ugh, frame rate issues, are you there, bud? That's a shame. I so said, that's the first real proper one that I've had there. What is this tool doing? That's the biggest one we've had just back there. Is the new Tram Simulator game supposed to be free for those who have the season pass on Bus Simulator 21? Yeah, that's a different one that um, somebody was talking about a minute ago. Um, that's Urban City Transit, isn't it? Uh, from Bus Simulator 21. But yeah, if you've got the season pass, that will be free. Otherwise, it'll be 16 99 I think. Which I have played on PC and I wasn't that impressed by. Uh, we're playing for more than two hours, it'd just be a good game. Exactly, I've been going almost three hours now. Should AI buy it? Buy what? This buddy, Alexander. Please change to simulation game mode. In what we... Sorry, dum dumber, what do you mean? Um, so semi-arcade or say yeah, I've changed the simulation. Do you want to? Yeah, so I've changed the simulation now how that affects anything I don't know Well, that means I've got to change gear now How do I do that? Oh, no, I'm not doing that <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't know how to do it I'll have a look into it. So maybe at six o'clock. I'll uh, I'll play in simulation mode Maybe at six o'clock when I come back at six. We'll give it a go then I'm in completely the wrong lane here. Need to get across here. What happened then? It said I didn't get a ticket. What was that all about? Yes, I've... Yes, I've looks like I can enjoy this. Sorry about... No, no, no. You're all right, buddy. You're all right. You don't have to apologise. Listen, buddy. I can't speak a word of any other language for you. So for you to come into my chat and type out in English is uh, is great, so don't apologise. I love this game, not going to lie, but they need to fix the sounds and frame rate. Yeah, I'm finding this, the city a little bit quiet at the moment, especially when I've got my windows open in the cab as well. That's, there we go. Thanks. That's nice that day. job done. Look at the front of my cab, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the front of my cab has got a little bit of physical damage there, as you can see. Uh, which is not good. It's not good. You avoided a ticket because uh, of the skill tree. Is that is that what it said? I completely missed it. I completely missed that. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave it there for now. But like I said, I will be back later at 6 o'clock. So in six hours' time, I'll be back. Uh, and I'll be streaming some more of this for another couple of hours. But so like I said, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. For all your uh, simulation content on consoles and hit that notification bell so you know when i go live and new content drops onto the channel but once again thank you so much for watching everybody i really do appreciate it all the new subs the donations you've all been amazing today it's been a great morning playing taxi life i'm dead happy with it i'm gonna play a little bit more this afternoon but yeah i hope you enjoy it too um uh, 
£35 on the PlayStation and Xbox. It will arrive on Steam later on today. But yeah, it's good. Definitely worth it. This is uh, one of my new favourites on console. All right, I'll see you in about six hours. Enjoy the rest of your day, everybody. Have a good one. Ta-da.